you got to cut the bullshit out, bro. That's that's all I'm saying. At some point, you have to cut the bullshit out, dog. And I, I I'm looking at this through what I would consider to be unbiased glasses, bro. Like I don't give a fuck about. Listen, I don't give a fuck about all this shit, dog. I don't give a fuck about what Microsoft doing, dog. I really don't give a fuck about what they're doing. To be honest with you, I don't. PlayStation fan. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing, right? Like, the only time Microsoft get talked about is for nonsense. It's it's for nonsense. Shit don't, shit don't make um, no relevancy in the fucking game that space. <laughs> you shouldn't be talking about how... how like, like, look, look, look how this, this whole scenario works for Microsoft, though. They, okay, they acquired five studios, you know, which I, mean, I think Obsidian is supposed to be one of them. That's supposed to be... It's rumored that Obsidian is supposed to be part of Microsoft, too. Right. And and now y'all screaming for a box. And and here's the thing uh, though, scrum. but that's why we always no sitting here. Sit. No Listen, games. we always sitting here saying the same shit, dog. Everybody wanted to see what? Everybody wanted to see games, dog. Nobody right. gave a fuck about bashing no damn Microsoft. I know I didn't give a fuck about bashing no I damn Microsoft. I still don't give a fuck about bashing Microsoft. Why? Because I don't give a fuck about talking about some shit that I don't give a fuck about. That's it. That's the simplest way to put it, dog. That's the simplest way to put it. If it's less, if it's look, look how uh, they promoted that fucking uh, Black Panther concert. Right. Them fanboys went out there and there's like everything Microsoft do that ain't do gaming related. They jump on. Right. Right. Well, here, but here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, right? This is the reason why I say it's unexcusable, and this is the reason why I don't give them a pass for this shit, right? This is the reason why I don't give them a pass for this shit, right? First of all, it shouldn't take you eight years into a console's life cycle to 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 finally start making games, right? All you've been putting out is the normal shit, the normal shit, the Halo, Gears, and Forza, right? The one stuff, the the, the few games that I'll say they stepped out of the box with was Cuphead. Right, Recore. Super Lucky's Tale, right, Recore, right, um, but they all turned out to be, except for Video. Cuphead, except, except for, for Cuphead. Cuphead. Listen, mm-hmm. Cuphead, fantastic game. I don't give a damn if you say anything about Ooh. Cuphead. It clearly means that something is wrong with you if you didn't like right. Cuphead. I'm sorry, that's that's right. that's just the way I see that shit. But oh, I mean, you gotta get a chance to play it. But looking at it, oh my god, I love that art style. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, man. I'm telling you, if you haven't played it, you definitely gotta play it. You, you definitely gotta play it. But everything else has been mediocre. Super lucky sale, mediocre, oh, me- yeah. mediocre as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. I ain't got no problem with the game. I even actually like the game a bit, but it's still mediocre at the end of the day. Um, what else? Um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That's the only. That's the. Those are the only few games that I could think of. I mean, I don't that's even. I, I don't even consider Sea of Thieves a game, dog. I don't consider Sea of Thieves a game. As a matter of fact, I don't think pirate C- simulator. <coughs> nah, I won't even say it's a pirate simulator, bro. That shit is just garbage. Fuck that. It's just <laughs> trash. There is no other way to call it. Uh, State of Decay Two. Come on, fam. The people don't even see the big picture about these games. Like, that's a really big problem. If you're working on a game for four fucking years. Facts. Why is it coming out like this? Facts. Facts. Where facts. did y'all mess up at? Like, nobody's not really talking about that. Being on that, like, that, that's that's serious. Nobody's like, talking about Xbox years. games at all, bro. That's the problem. It's crazy. Nobody's talking about any of the games that you have. And then you come out and say, oh, we, we heard you. Come on. Every every year you heard it. Since 2014, they've been talking about they they, they fucking invested a billion dollars. Since 2014, dog. Do you realize that shit? Since 2014, they were talking about they, they invested a billion dollars at that time, right? Then this year, they're talking about, oh, right, yeah, we're investing heavily in games. What happened to the other shit you invested in? Where is it? Yeah. Where is it, my guy? I think, that, I think that money went to the other um, sectors of the business. That's what I'm talking about. And I'm looking at this shit from... I'm, I'm looking at this shit through a panoramic view, my nigga. I'm like, bro, are we seriously going to do this? Are we seriously in 2018, bro? From 2013 to 2018, all it's been is what they promising to bring you. 
Come on, dog. We always talk about, they always talk about, oh, yeah, well, PlayStation didn't have any games in the beginning. No, fuck, nigga. They had games. You just didn't, you don't recognize it because it ain't on the Xbox. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. What are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about Rise Son of Rome, my nigga. Are we going to talk about the game with four fucking enemies in the entire goddamn game? And all they do is reskin them? Nigga, they reskin the same four enemies that do the same four fucking moves. And and, and, th- and we're going to talk about this is greatness, nigga? Listen, the whole fucking Rise started this shit is a big-ass joke, dog. Rise couldn't even move enough units, nigga, to, to, get, to, to, to pursue a sequel, my nigga. Come on, dog. You want to talk about Rise copied every fucking thing? Rise ain't copy shit, nigga. I mean, I mean, nothing copied Rise, bro. Nothing copy, not nothing copied Rise, my nigga. Nothing copied Rise, my nigga. If you copied Rise, you was copying failure, nigga. Let's be honest, nigga. And what we gonna talk about? We gonna talk about Dead Rising three, my nigga. Nigga, who's talking about that shit, bro? All these fucking years that these niggas was talking about fucking Sony kicking their back in sony is in the lab creating greatness bro sony like learned sony from their mistakes mm-hmm. and then they felt that these, a lot of these guys must have just jumped in last generation because sony always start off slow and then they work themselves up and do the rest of the generation with nothing but fucking fire i mean they have some 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 not quite games in the middle of the generation or the ending, but most of the time they said they shit is legit. Facts, facts. But that's what that's the reason why I look at I, I look at everything I, I look at everything from an objective perspective, right? People always telling me, "Oh man, you hate on the X because you don't have an X." Like nigga, the fuck? Really, that. nigga? Really? Damn. I heard I had a nigga tell me I can't afford an X. That's why I hate on the yeah. X. I'm like, nigga, I'm not you. We are not the same, my guy. I was like, what the what what, what is the X really offering you besides Listen, party games? People are confused. They're confused because they Microsoft, Microsoft got, got them got confused. Them. Yes, yes. Listen. People not then say, oh, we're going to have the best box for the multiplex. Listen, I could go through all of the 4K games, even some of the 4K 60 games that are on the PlayStation. PlayStation didn't have to harp on and on and on about 4K, nigga, to get you excited. They did more with less. Right. Nigga, Horizon Zero Dawn ain't even technically 4K. It's 1800p checkerboarded to 4K and look better than any goddamn Xbox game you can show me in 4K, nigga. What you gonna show me, 4K Play-Doh, nigga? That's what Sea of Thieves is, 4K fucking Play-Doh, nigga. Niggas talking about, oh man, I love this art style. You don't get the fuck out of here. Who the fuck you lying to, my guy? As long as it gives Who are you talking about? I remember a nigga told me that that shit looked like um the art style looked like Saturday morning cartoons, nigga. I don't remember none of my cartoons looking like that, nigga. That must be the, that that must be the new school, new generation cartoons, fam. Right. I could even go farther than that to order eighteen eighty six. Any none of them games look better than that fucking game. Bruh. You got me. And that shit fucked ain't even up. In 4K. And I'm sitting up here. I'm sitting up here, though, Game Over HD, bruh. I'm sitting over here, bruh. And I'm listening to these loony-ass niggas, bro. Y'all niggas is playing games from last generation. That's what you are playing. Nothing you are playing is fucking new. And if you are playing something new, guess what? PlayStation fans are playing those games as well. That's the problem. Nigga, why is it that everybody who prays backwards compatibility to this day, none of them niggas own the PlayStation 3? These same niggas is the niggas who is praising and championing Ultra HD Blu-ray drives, right? They're championing playing old ass games, backwards compatibility, right? This is the selling point to them. Another nigga is like, oh, I don't want a PlayStation because it doesn't allow crossplay. Nigga, are you kidding me, bro? Are you serious, dog? Are you serious, dog? Are do you hear yourself? Do you hear what the fuck you saying right now? I heard that shit in real life. Somebody walked up, we was talking about video games. Say, I don't like uh, Sony, but they don't do crossplay. You can do crossplay with Nintendo and Microsoft. No, 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 nigga, 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 nigga. Look, 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 check this out. Check this out. Check this out, bro. Check this out. 
niggas is talking about because you can't do cross play because you got the weaker system nigga where was you in 2013 nigga where was you in 2013 where was you bro because you still had an xbox where were you why you ain't keeping that same energy that's why i take none of these niggas serious who be talking about the power of the x nigga cut it the fuck out if it was yeah, that man. if it was that if it was really about power dog then guess what you would have had a PlayStation. You wouldn't be sitting up here making excuses. The excuses before was the games. Uh, right. Now what it is. They they know us. Now is the power. The now excuses okay. change. The excuses mm-hmm. change. And I keep saying the same thing to everybody who want to come back. Dog, if you want to come back to shit, if you really want to come back to shit, let's be honest, dog. Facts. PlayStation MPB. gamers ain't changed their stands, fam. This is the middle of the fucking generation, nigga. At this point, we've already seen what next gen look like, nigga. This ain't the beginning of a gen. Facts. Dog, how much clearer can you make it? How much clearer can you make it, Game Over HD? Niggas keep trying to bring up 2013, bruh. That's crazy. Why are you bringing up 2013, nigga? In 20... In in 20... 18. That's what they always go back to. Even next Jimmy saying the bullshit. They always going back to that. Okay, that's past ten. Bruh. That look what's going on now. We're in the they keep saying the future. We're in the future right now. Bruh. That's Everybody is talking about oh but 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 Microsoft, they're 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 focused on the future. You mean you mean PlayStation now future nigga? The fuck? Uh, Nigga, you really want all of your motherfucking games to be streamed, nigga? They're going to be another Sega. Bruh, you really want all of your games to be streamed. I'm saying this for a reason, game over. I'm saying this shit for a reason, bro. I was in the middle of streaming a game, and my internet went smack the fuck out. Yeah, but it's got to fight hard for this, because I like my physical. So, no, 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 no. So tell me this. Tell me this, bro. What is niggas going to do when their internet go out? Why in the hell would you want your games to be dependent on having an internet connection? What the fuck is going to happen? What is going to happen when you get another Lizard Squad or another Anonymous who feel like, ah, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just take down the internet. Like, the the fuck, bro? Who in the hell wants to be, who, who really wants to be stuck with this? Don't get me wrong. PlayStation Now is a great option if you have good internet, right? I don't know how it is to have bad internet because I don't have bad internet. So I can't tell you how it is on bad internet. But I can tell you how it is on good internet. It works perfectly fine. The problem is, even with PlayStation Now, nigga, if it requires a connection, you're going to have problems. What if you have a day where everybody's online? The way Comcast works is they share connections, meaning everybody is connected to the same fucking hub, siphoning off the same goddamn internet. Nigga, if everybody is at home trying to stream motherfucking games, how the fuck you think that's going to turn out? How do you think that's going to turn out, bro? That shit ain't finna turn out good for nobody, bro. And now you got a console that's solely based off of fucking streaming, nigga? And then, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you how I think all of this shit is a conspiracy anyway, dog. Now we all we all going head first into the goddamn the, the streaming age, right? This is right after our fucking president. Fuck that, nigga. Our fucking president, dog. Is helping these motherfuckers to take down the internet, my nigga. Net neutrality is done, my guy. So you really think, you really think I want my hobby, the shit that I love to do, to be dependent on a fucking service where they can charge you whatever the fuck they want? Do you really want me to do that? And then you still got a subscription-based service? Come on. Now we paying for PlayStation now. We paying for our fucking internet. And God knows the amount of tears we going to have when everybody's trying to stream a fucking game. Everybody's trying to stream a game. So Comcast is like, whoa, 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 nigga. This load on our fucking, <laughs> this load on our nids is fucking crazy, bro. We, we got to charge money for this shit. 
and they are going to charge money for it. Why? Because no, Comcast a is a ton of greedy fucking bastards. That's well, why. They're going to go up on the price. They're going up on the prices, too. My bad, dog. I'm not I done started that. streaming, bro. Yeah. But, dog, I'm so fucking hot. I'm, I'm tired of this shit, dog. I'm low-key tired of this shit, bro. And all we got is niggas talking about some, oh, man, this shit ain't that serious. It's just games. Okay. Yeah, nigga. I grew up playing games. I still play games. You think I want that ruined because a whole bunch of fucking bitch ass, casual ass gamers who now think that gaming is cool is coming in and basically guiding our fucking hobby into a direction that nobody really wants to fucking go in? Come on, my guy. This is why this shit got me hot, bro. Because I low-key know that this shit is out of our control, bro. 1,000% out of our control. So what's going to happen? Now I'm just I'm just going to go back to gaming on old shit, bro. I'm going to go back to gaming on the 360. I'm going to go back to gaming on the PS3. I'm going to go back to gaming on the Wii and the Wii U, bro. Why? Because those consoles still have games that work and don't require a fucking internet connection. That's why. Bro, that's some bullshit, dog. Is Microsoft trying to start up a... That is some bullshit, bro. For everybody, because it's going to be a lot of people that don't even fuck with the internet. So how the fuck they going to be buying a box? That shit is crazy, dog. Anyway, let's go ahead and start this podcast, bro. I done already went live, so they already done heard us in here fucking ratting and raving like madmen. But shit, it is what it is, bro. Let me go ahead and switch the scene. What up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Pen from Sick Humor TV, and this is the PlayStation Plus Podcast. I got my guy, Game Over HD, in a building. I'm not sure who else is here, because I'm not looking at that screen. But... This is me and you now. Oh, okay, cool. Game Over HD, <laughs> go ahead and uh, do your intro, brother. What's going on, everybody? Happy to be here once again. Um... I'm definitely gonna be coming through here more often. Just been really busy lately, but um, yeah, just want to bust it up with my man sick, and we just get in some topics. Uh, they saying your your mic is really quiet. Can you hear me? I don't know. Just 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 start talking, and we'll we'll take a look at the comments and see how they feel about it. All right. Yeah, I'm I'm happy to be here once again. Um, just been really busy. Uh. I already know the nigga schedule and shit. Just trying to rest and take care of business. Summer's almost over. So I'm trying to experience outside more than being inside. So I'm just all right. They say you're good now. They say you're good now. All right. All right. So Caleb Kaiser, thank you for the five dollar super chat. Microsoft things launch launching next generation Xbox before PS5 is going to solve everything, but they are wrong because they don't have the market share. Facts. I agree with that. Uh, Andrew everybody Wilkins. Does. Hold on one second. Andrew Wilkins, right. five dollar super chat. Sick. Did you know that in 2008, Comcast mm-hmm. filed a patent to put spying audio and video devices in all their near future cable boxes? Mm. Well, they gonna be spying on these nuts. Hope they like what they see. Facts. Anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. Game over. <laughs> I'm like, the, the thing is, everybody's settled in to an ecosystem they want to be on. So when PS5 get announced, everybody going to jump on it. Yeah. Facts. Here's the thing, right? I always said this, right? Uh, PS5 is already, I'm already sold on the PS5. I don't know what the PS5 is. I don't know what it looks like. I don't know when it's coming out, but if it's, if this generation is indicative of what we're going to get with next generation, I'm already on board, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm already on board. Um, damn, my bad y'all, man. Let me say what's up to everybody, bro. What is up? Jemaya Dixon, June Facey, uh, Fatal Sherrod. All day digital, sick. One question is six in the morning, and the police ain't at my door. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what is up, man? What is up? Cypherborg, what's good? JP Loco, what is good? Xbox Vidiot, shout out to the Xbox Vidiot, man. Thank you for the code, bro. I definitely got to try that game this weekend. 
A Cantor, what's up? Mark Piggins, what's up? JP Loco, what's up? I already said Jemiah Dixon. Let me keep going. Let me keep going. And uh, for some reason, I got a loud ass echo. Somebody just walked in the room. Who just walked in the room? Nobody. Hold on. Nah, I muted my mic. Oh, okay. I was getting a loud ass echo, but it's all good. Uh, shout out to Stardust Cicero, Andre Six Stacks, Zelda. What is good? I'm angry as a motherfucker right now. That's facts. Wanye Tuda. What is good? Mod Rozzy. What is good? Did I say Cypherboard? If I didn't, what's up, Cypherboard? What's up again? Uh, John Flores, OBJ to Dizon. What is good? Andre Brewer, Phaedrus Socrates, Sin Vote Win. Who else we got in here? Who else? We got? Baltimore's MVP. Shout out to Baltimore's, man. What's good, fam? Simon Jarrett. What is good? What is good? Uh, Mr. Pio, what is good, Mr. Pio? Hey, shout out to Daxter Man. Daxter Man be low key sending me a whole bunch of articles and shit um, through the PlayStation app. Shout out to him, man. Shout out to him. Hey, all day, bro. If you trying to get on, brother, if you trying to get on, the link ain't nothing but one call away, bro. You already know what it is. Let me know if you want to come through. I'll slide you that link. It is what it is. Uh, but good morning to everybody, man. Good morning to everybody, man. Y'all came in probably on some fuck shit. I was gonna play some music, but I wasn't in. I, I wasn't even in the music mood this morning, man. I was not in the music mood this morning. I mean, you got, but Beth Bethesda, Bethesda, with the unmitigated gall to start making threats. Andrew Wilkins, $5 Super Chat. According to some Xbox fans, if Cyberpunk can somehow become exclusive to Xbox, then that will be an automatic win for next gen. Anything is an automatic win for next gen for them. Everything. Nigga, 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray drives was a win for this generation. A am I wrong? Am I, am I missing something? Because... I definitely remember people saying that a 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray drive was going to change the tide. Come on. Do y'all remember when it was advertising the fucking Xbox One S? And they were like, oh, oh, the Xbox One S, it, it does 4K. Nigga, no, it don't. No, it don't, my nigga. It don't. Oh, yeah. but it can play 4K Blu-ray drive. No, no, nigga. So, how many 4K Blu-rays do you buy? Let's be honest. Show a nigga your collection. Show me all them Ultra HD Blu-ray drives. I mean, not drives, but movies. Players. Fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, I have two. Uh, I have two blue, just regular Blu-ray players over there in the corner. Now, here's I don't the thing, need no though. Box to play no fucking movies. Bethesda is on some new shit, though. Todd Howard. Todd Howard. Mm, mm, mm. Todd the bullshitter Howard so listen Todd Howard comes not Todd Howard but it was the, the vice president or whatever but I'm focused on this fuck nigga Todd Howard though let me show you why I'm focused on Todd Howard what first got me is that commercial games will change the generation and the end so yeah absolutely Games are what will change the generation. But let me show y'all why I'm focusing on Todd Howard. Todd Howard is the guy who came out and said uh, Fallout 76. He the one that tried to push the whole narrative with crossplay, right? For Fallout 76, right? Todd Howard tried to, right? That's what he, he, he tried it. He tried it. Before then, Todd Howard was one of the developers that you guys saw in that Xbox commercial that was talking about we're bringing Fallout 4 to VR, and finally, we have the hardware that can give us the resolution and blah, 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 zi, blah, zi, blah, fucking blah. Bitch, Skyrim is on goddamn PlayStation VR, bruh. Fuck out of here with that nonsense. Fallout ain't even that great of a looking game. Are we Are we really going to sit up here and play like Fallout is one of those behemoths, one of those really fucking... Um, uh, graphically intense games, are we really gonna play like that? Are we really gonna play like that? Come on, fam. 
come on. Bro, so you already been throwing shots at Sony. And if I caught the shit, I know PlayStation caught the shit. I know. Call, I know PlayStation caught the shit. If I caught it, I'm sure the vice president of PlayStation is looking at this bitch like, so that's how you really feel, nigga? Tell us how you really feel, bro. Tell us how you really feel. I'm just like, tell us how you really feel, nigga. Mm. Come on, fam. You got Todd Howard who done jumped out of the window plenty of times in defense of Microsoft. And this shit all leads back to what the fuck I said, right? Y'all think I'm blaming Microsoft for everything, right? I'm not blaming Microsoft for everything. This shit was planned. All of this shit was planned. What they didn't plan is that the general population wasn't with the bullshit. That's what wasn't planned. Microsoft's vision, niggas was not with that bullshit. I can't tell you now though, from 2013 to now, niggas done changed. A whole bunch Ooh. of niggas who wasn't all digital is all digital now. You know what I'm saying? A whole bunch of people who was with the, the picketing signs and the pitchforks, they not here now. They not here no more. Those dudes done converted. They all yeah, with the digital shit. And plus they playing PlayStation games. <laughs> they all with the digital <laughs> shits right now, bruh. Now, digital, even, even going full digital was a bullshit step. But I was like, you know what? Maybe some people really like to have shit at their fingertips and don't want to get up and go switch out CDs. Okay, cool. I could deal with digital. That's still a choice. You still have physical. $10 Super Chat, Jemiah Dixon. I definitely think Bethesda is overplaying their hand. That's the reason why Sony is doubling down on first party. Nobody is going to force Mr. 500 million, AKA Sony to do shit as they shouldn't, as they shouldn't. The problem is, is how many other developers are on board with this bullshit? How many third party developers is on board with this bullshit? While I may not like Bethesda games all that much, right? While I might not like their games that much, there's people out there who love their fucking games. I like Evil Within. Even the first Wolfenstein, not the second one. I don't know what the fuck they was thinking with the second Wolfenstein. But fuck that, dog. But everybody is trying to add an online component to their games now. Everybody. Now, what, what, what pushes me even further, right? Because I'm, I'm telling y'all, I cannot prove this shit. I can't prove this shit. But what I can tell you is the main reason why Ubisoft, Bethesda, and, and these other companies that's jumping on board, like EA and shit like that, I guarantee you, Microsoft on the back end, Microsoft on the back end is providing them with Azure server access something they're giving them something that we have no idea about everybody who has fucked with microsoft they now have what put two and two together folks ubisoft has you play now right ea has ea or origins right mm -hmm. bethesda now has whatever bethesda soft or some shit like that they are also getting away from Steam. So Microsoft is trying to deal a double blow, actually. Microsoft is trying to kill Steam as well as Sony, in a sense. Which, that's good and all, right? But what will be the aftermath? Caleb Kaiser, my bad. $2 Super Chat. PSP Go was ahead of his time. Absolutely. PlayStation Now was ahead of his time. A lot of shit was ahead of their time, but how much of it pans out is the question. How much of it pans out? What's up, Mark Woodland? How's it going? So 
So looking at everything, right? And looking at everything from an objective standpoint, we got to start, we got to stop looking at the surface. We all got to start digging deeper because we all just attribute this shit to the way the industry is moving. No, there's more to it. There's more to it. There is no way you can garner this type of loyalty just because this is the way the industry is moving. No, you got to look at, they're looking at how am I benefiting from this? Who is benefiting from this? Who is utilizing stuff that Microsoft may have access to? You know what I'm saying? If you think about it, Microsoft owns the Havoc engine, right? They own the Havoc engine, the, 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 the physics engine, right? They own that. They got a whole bunch of Azure servers and shit like that, right? And they own the Azure cloud service altogether. The only thing that I can think of is that they are falling in line with Microsoft because they feel like Microsoft has the infrastructure to move forward in that direction. That's the only thing that I can think of. That's the only thing I can think of because nothing else makes sense. None of this makes sense. I've never seen a, a generation where the person at the top is getting shit on for the person at the bottom. Mm. They damn near below Nintendo right now. I would say that they're below Nintendo because Nintendo may not be outselling them in consoles yet, but they're definitely outselling them software wise. Then you have to ask your question. You got to ask yourself this question too. Why did Nintendo get on board? What is in this for Nintendo? That's the thing. Honestly, I feel like Microsoft is playing this. I, I think they read the book. What is it called? 50, law 50 laws of power. What? What is it called? The laws of power, something, something laws of power, 50, 50 laws of power or something like that. Is that what it is? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? I haven't been keep nah, but I haven't been keeping up with current events either. Like I'm kind of lost in what you're talking about, what's going on, but I know this whole digital thing is like 48 laws of power. Why the hell am I push. thinking 58 laws of 48 laws of power? They're deciphering shit from the inside. Not on the outside. They're taking shit down from the inside. We have no idea what the fuck is going on. We all looking with the boo-boo face like, what the fuck? None of it makes sense. Can anybody, anybody, even people in the chat, can anybody explain this? There's no explaining it. I just, I don't know. No, dude, it, it's not that they're trying to come for the crown. It's different when you come for the crown. When you come for the champ, when you come for the champ, like when they came for Mayweather, Sony is Mayweather, right? Xbox is Pacquiao, right? They coming for Mayweather, but they not coming, he not coming at Mayweather fair. They not coming at they he not well let's not say fair. You not coming at Sony with a one on one. Let me just put it that way. You're not coming at Sony for a one on one because you know you can't beat Sony in a one on one. The simple fact is that Bethesda is a huge publisher. Right? If Microsoft does regain that top status, it's not because they earned it. No, it's not even because they deserve it. It's because they manipulated the industry. That's the only way. That's the only way that they could do it. That's it. They, they had to manipulate their way to the top. They didn't earn that. That's what I'm saying. They didn't earn that. And even then, I think they're going to fail. I think they're going to fail miserably because they can't produce. You can't produce. All right. What type of games are you producing for these it, boxes? No, 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 no. I ain't talking about that. Up. I'm not talking about that. If Bethesda drops a game on the Xbox that is exclusive to the Xbox, how well is that shit even going to sell? Mm. 
And most niggas done went and built PCs. So guess what? They're not going to even buy it from Microsoft, period. They're just going to get it on PC. Period. The simple fact of the matter is, I think Bethesda is playing a very dangerous game, and I don't think they going to like the outcome. What is enough money? What is enough money, Xbox video? What is enough money for a company to say, we're going to take this loss? What is enough money? Because if it's a good game, it could possibly sell 10, 20 million. The way it sells, the way Rockstar games sell. So you mean to tell me, as a company, as Bethesda, you're willing, let's just give it 10 million, right? 10 million, right? And that's 10 million at $60 a pop. Of course, you're not making $60, but it's 10 million at $60 a pop. You're really willing to take that loss? And you really think that uh, Microsoft is going to give up close to a billion dollars? For a single game, I want whatever it is you smoking, Xbox video. I want whatever it is you smoking, bruh. What Bethesda game you think costs 10 million to make or 4 million to make? Screw Bethesda, to be honest, if they just put their games on Xbox and Nintendo, I can live with that. Listen, I feel that way too, bro. I feel that way too. But once again, there are people who like Bethesda games. I feel like there are people out there who like Bethesda games. If Bethesda would like to go that route, though, more power to you. Go ahead. Move along. Listen, <clears throat> y'all don't believe it. But Sony has been preparing for this shit. Sony has been preparing for this shit. Y'all don't think so? Take a look at what's going on. Take a look at what's transpiring. Sony has prepared for all of this. Why you think Sony is putting more focus into making their own games and not relying on third parties to make games? Because they see the game that third-party developers are trying to play. I'm telling you. They see the game that third parties are trying to play. So if they can build their own game and make that popular, they make more money regardless. The simple Mm -hmm. fact of the matter is, and I believe this wholeheartedly, They think they want this partnership with Microsoft. They think this shit is going to be beneficial. I don't think so. I don't think so at all. So that's what's going on, though? They trying to make an exclusive game for Microsoft? Nah. Nah, I don't think it's about making exclusive anything. The problem is, I've never seen a situation where they're trying to force a platform holder to do what another platform holder wants them to do. I've never seen this shit a day in my life. That shit crazy, ain't it? Yeah, this shit's real crazy. That shit is wild to me, dog. I mean, you see what happens, bro. <clears throat> every It's almost like everybody in the industry has been trying to baby and help Microsoft up. Nah, that's not how that shit work. You got companies like Digital Foundry, 
that were able to be paid to push propaganda. They did that. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's you have a ton money. of you have a ton of outlets. Oh. You have a ton of media outlets that have babied Microsoft, even when they haven't produced. Even when they haven't produced, babied Microsoft, tiptoeing around the situation, talking about just give them more time. I've never seen no oh just give them more time. Where's the articles when PlayStation 3 was out there? Where was the give them more time? Where was the articles out there when Sega was going under? Where was the give them more time? Where was those give more time articles at? But everybody, everybody want to spread the bullshit talking about there's media bias against the Xbox. No, motherfucker. The media bias is the media bias works for Xbox. It doesn't work against (laughs) Xbox. Have you ever went to Metacritic? Listen, have you ever went to Metacritic and just took a look at the games under Metacritic? Look, t- just take a look at the names of the companies who do these reviews on Metacritic. Xbox Revolution, Windows Central, and all of these sites just happen to give high ratings to every game that Microsoft put out. Every game they put out. From sea of dog shit to state of dog shit, every doo doo dookie bullshit ass game that Microsoft puts out, they give that shit a high score. You want me to tell you the difference? Go and take a look at a Sony game. You got websites like Push Square, like PlayStation Lifestyle, they are still fair when they judge Sony games. Just go take a look at the reviews if you think I'm bullshitting. That's the difference. Microsoft literally has, they literally have websites pushing propaganda. And that's not a lie. lie. Y'all can go look for yourself. So that's why I don't, that's A, that's why I don't listen to people when they be like, oh, media bias, this and that. Shut the fuck up. You are the biased media, you dumbass. You're Fox News, bitch. That's what you are. The fellow guy that y'all always love to mention because y'all always say he say stupid shit. That's the Fox News of this industry. He is the Fox News. Funny part about him, he just ain't funny. Just saying. He ain't funny. Don't forget about that shit with Machinima. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And if y'all really don't think that Microsoft is paying for good press and all of this shit, remember the Machinima deal? Remember putting the little shit in your description so that they know that you're, you know, that you're getting that extra money on the side? The fuck? Has it ever been a surprise, my guy? Has it ever been a surprise? But the same people who cry about media bias 24 fucking seven, they're usually the media bias that they talking about. That shit is funny to me, dog. That shit is funny to me. And it's weird because now niggas expect something. They expect shit from the X. Let me be the first to tell you. If you're expecting the X to move mountains, nigga, you gonna be in for a long day. But they've beat it into you so much that that's what you're looking for. They beat it into you so much that you're going to get the better version of the game that you're expecting. You're expecting that. But look at what the fuck you're getting. You got people who really run around here saying that the pro cannot do 4K. First of all, niggas just don't give a fuck about the pro doing 4K. That's first and foremost. Mark Cerny never advertised this bitch as a 4K machine. Facts. Oh, he did? If you feel like he did, 
point me in a direction, nigga. Because I remember watching that long ass, drawn out, weird ass nigga explain checkerboard rendering. Expe he explained a whole bunch of shit that nobody gave a fuck about. I remember that shit. That's why I'm sitting back and I'm watching everything and everything. And I'm just like, how retarded are y'all niggas? Red Dead, I wasn't even impressed with the Red Dead video. Have no intentions on picking that bitch up at launch. Probably not even a few years down the line. But how could y'all not think after seeing what Sony is capable of, do y'all think that Sony is just some special entity when it comes to developing games? No, nigga. They might be up on the technology, but anybody could do it if they put in the work. $2 super chat from Jemiah. Bruh, I was just playing Lost Legacy 4K. Who? Yeah. 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 Listen. I'm listening to all of these people. Y'all just mad that they didn't have to go through the trouble of putting all the bullshit advertising up there and they still getting the same or similar results. God of War still the best looking game I've probably seen all this generation. God of War. Yeah, too soon. God of War. I mean, not. Like Detroit that. still got the Detroit best facial too. animations and face capture I've seen in a video game ever. Ever. I mean, Phil Spencer is the same nigga who came out his mouth. Phil Spencer is the same dude that came out of his mouth and said that narrative driven games just don't have the impact hmm. and then zelda came out and killed his entire world horizon zero dawn just came out and killed his entire world as soon as horizon zero dawn came out and god of war numbers, killed they, they everything this nigga was game. talking about they talking about making a game like horizon zero dawn after that game hit he sounds foolish he now straight he just straight up lied and know what the fuck he was talking about. Phil Spencer is a false prophet and he had all you dumbass niggas going on along going straight on a ride up. right along with him. Straight up liar. He had, he had all y'all niggas. He he said that to give himself more time. He didn't believe that shit. He just knew he didn't have anything that was comparable. Now that he got y'all on board, listen, the nigga say he bought five studios. Nigga, we saw what the We Happy Few studio is putting out. Mm. Trash. Because they were Microsoft, everybody think they're going to do something better. Trash. I don't think so. The back end of Microsoft, these developers just going to have some be high fair. quality games. Let me be fair. Composing Games did make Contrast. Contrast was a really dope game. It was an indie game, but it was a really dope game. Shout out to them. I like that game. But the fact of the matter remains, should we be happy that they bought Compulsion Studios, nigga? I know I shouldn't because it's not my fight anymore. But I'm looking at all the dumb niggas that's walking around here talking about, but they bought five studios. Okay, nigga, what have they produced? What have they proved? What have they proved? What have they proved, nigga? They bought Undead Labs. We saw what they can do. You want more State of Decay type shit? Is that what you really want? Is that what seasoned, you really want? They don't have seasoned developers. Like it started, it seemed like Microsoft then started over like this is their first gen ever. Like this is their first Xbox because they got some low tier developers. Now so, if they would have had some developers like Sony from, from developing for years, Maybe they will have some quality games. Right Listen, now, but the, we got to wait and see what they're going to do. The best acquisition that I feel like Microsoft has was Playground Games. Yeah. Why? Because they're tried and true. They're tried and true. 
even though they've only been making the same Forza Horizon game, we know that they know what the fuck they're doing when they make Forza games. I don't know about this Forza Horizon 4, though, man. After learning more about it and learning about how the, the seasons change and shit, I don't know, dog. I don't know, bro. I mean, I think I, I still think it's going to be a beautiful-ass-looking game. You know what I'm saying? I still think that it's going to be fun to play, but I don't know about that season change and shit. But regardless, they are tried and true. The problem with Playground Games is everybody already thought they owned them anyway. <laughs> That's the problem with that acquisition. That is the problem with the acquisition, dog. We know you're tried and true, but we know what you do. Ninja Theory. Good developer, in my opinion. Good developer. They made Enslaved Odyssey to the West. They made Hellblade. They made Heavenly Sword. The problem with this is that what have they, what, what else has they done? What, what else have they done? All of their titles came and went, but most people weren't even talking about them a few years after they came out. Nobody even had an idea. Nobody even knew that they made Heavenly Sword. That's crazy. But that was also one of the better acquisitions. That was also one of the better acquisitions, right? So now, what do you have to look forward to? All of y'all niggas done already said y'all don't like walking simulators. Y'all also said that y'all don't like narrative, heavy story-driven games. So what are they going to make that a nigga on Xbox will actually go out and buy? I mean, to be fair, they have a game. They haven't had a quality game in like two, going on three years almost, is it? Who? So... Whatever these developers make, they're going to jump on it and praise it. I, I would think. Who? Oh, yeah. Oh, you talk about the Xbox fan? Yeah, yeah, of course. Of yeah, course. but like I was saying, if these developers is making, it, like, if um, all these developers that Microsoft acquired, they got to come out with some games. If it's not quality or not, they're going to jump on it. They're going to have to jump on it. So what did I name? I named. They ain't got shit. I named. They ain't been having games. Composion games. So they're going to jump right ninja theory playground games undead labs and the fifth one what do they call it the in the, um, the, the initiative the, um, the initiative yo. okay what have they made nothing the initiative that's one of the guys okay he's the head he's the head the one that made tomb raider game is that doesn't one matter guys doesn't matter what game ha have they made Nothing. as the initiative nothing so That's what is there to be yeah, excited nothing. for from the initiative because they, they're looking at the pedigree of that one person that one looking person does not make a development team. team that's 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 the insight of looking at it they don't look at the whole that's picture. that's retarded these developers is being listen quiet for sony has made a couple of new studios already that we don't even talk about. You know why we don't right, talk about them? Because Sony ain't talking you about You know them. why we don't talk about them? Because they have not made anything. It doesn't matter who they hired. Mm -hmm. They could have hired every great developer from every great development team that ever fucking existed. But guess what? We have not seen a goddamn thing from them. Nothing. We have not seen anything. We are not speculating. We are not overhyping. Mm -hmm. We are taking the what? The wait and see approach. Because mm -hmm. whatever they yes. make could possibly come out to be absolute trash. Mm -hmm. It could be the most god awful game that ever been fucking created. Is that likely? Highly doubt it. <laughs> Black Tiger. <laughs> that ain't a Sony game. That shit was well, actually well, an well, Android well, game. Well, it was well, a platform. Yeah, it was an Android Something game. Like they they, they um they 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 took it from being an Android game to being that shit. Here's the thing, right? 
I'm gonna tell y'all how I feel about that because I saw y'all put it in the chat numerous times, right? Um, Hellblade. They're claiming that they sold a hundred k. Right? I don't believe that. I don't think for a chance that they have. I think that Microsoft just gave them the money and told them to donate. Because it makes it seem good. Show me the niggas playing Hellblade right now. Why is Hellblade not on the highest selling list? On Xbox. Not versus PlayStation. Just versus themselves. Where is it? Where is it, folks? Where's Hellblade? Plus, how would you, why would you believe anything that Microsoft says about numbers when they don't mention numbers? They don't mention numbers. So if they don't mention numbers, how could you ever say that they that that they sold 100k? And I just don't believe shit that Ninja Theory says. Ninja Theory was the same people who said that they couldn't put Hellblade on PlayStation VR. Are you really serious right now? You really want us to believe that's the reason why you're not bling, bringing Hellblade to PlayStation VR? Even though PlayStation VR has Resident Evil on it, which is a much more fucking demanding game than Hellblade, my nigga. But you want us to believe. They want us to believe that they couldn't put Hellblade. Like Hellblade is such a demanding game that they couldn't do it because it would take up so much resources and wouldn't be able to perform on PlayStation VR. Are you seriously telling me this, my nigga? How many of y'all motherfuckers in the chat actually believe that shit how many people in the chat right now nvidia you've used playstation vr do you really think that hellblade and you've seen hellblade you played hellblade on playstation and xbox do you really think that hellblade just can't run on playstation vr hardware The question that I'm asking you, Corey Massey, is do you believe that they cannot put Hellblade on PlayStation VR? Do you really think it's because of hardware limitations? Do you really believe that? Fatal Mephesto, what's good? You want in, Fatal? Hey, we having an open session today. Anybody who want to jump in and voice your opinion, I will send you the link. Let me know if you want to jump in, because I want to get how everybody truly feels about this shit. Hey, uh, Game Over HD, can you send a link to... Um to fatal oh damn you on the phone right never mind i'll do yeah. it give me a second fatal i'm gonna I'm send this in there god damn it and don't worry we're gonna move on from this shit I just felt like this was something we needed to spend some time on, but we definitely finna move on with this shit. We not finna make this whole podcast about this bum ass company. All right, I That's sent it to you, Fatal. Work with Microsoft. That's why I ain't <clears throat> giving them my money. But it's weird because they say it will also run on an RX 480. PSVR is the weakest of them all, also the most sold of them all. 
uh it would be better than some of this shit hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on let me stop y'all right there let me stop you right there vidiot vidiot had did you ever think in a million fucking bazillion light years that wolfenstein would run on fucking um the switch now i'm using this as an example for a reason i'm using this as an example for a reason do you believe and I ask you this in the most sincerest way possible. Do you truly believe, did you truly believe that Wolfenstein and Doom would run on a Switch? Because I never did. Because I never did. Uh, No, I don't think Playground should take their stuff multi-platform. I think Playground games should stick with being an Xbox studio. And I'm not saying this because I don't like Playground uh, games. Uh, games. Nah, I'm saying this because they work best with Microsoft thus far. Like, let them, let them keep Playgrounds. We don't need Playgrounds. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They could get it to run. They could scale it to run on the hardware that was there. How hard do y'all really think that is with Hellblade? An eight hour game. Six hours if you ain't trying to do everything. Micros no, 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 no. We're not gonna do this Xbox video. Hey, Xbox video, bro. If you want to join, bro, I would love to have you here. I would love to have you on the panel. I would love to hear this shit live. Live. And it's all respect. It's all love. You already know that, Xbox video. But I would definitely love to have this debate with you because you already know that Minecraft was on the PlayStation prior to Microsoft's acquisition. Microsoft purchased it after it was already on the PlayStation. Had they pulled it from PlayStation, Microsoft would have got the shit sued out of them by everybody who purchased the game and now no longer can play the game. Who who do you think is the last people to actually get updates for the game? When was the last PlayStation Minecraft up, update? Two and a half months ago. You don't have to drop the resolution. That's the problem. Answering Xbox niggas questions are just too damn easy. What up, Fatal? Uh, Minecraft is what up, man? Microsoft also at OG. What's, good, Fatal? What's the, good? The point is, if another iteration of Minecraft comes out, it's more than likely going to be exclusive or it will exclude PlayStation. And they can do that legally and without recourse. They couldn't just snatch the game as it is from the PlayStation, they couldn't do that. But, but when the next iteration comes out of Minecraft, they can most certainly exclude PlayStation, which they're most likely going to do. They're most likely going to come out and say the same dumb shit that Bethesda said about Fallout 4 coming to VR, right? And just say, oh, well, the hardware, it's issues with the hardware, the reason why we couldn't bring Minecraft, you know, the old PR bullshit. The PR bullshit. <laughs> Them games don't run at 90 frames per second, Fatal. Sherrod? You need to realize Thank that you were saying his last name. <laughs> running VR, you need to be able to run the game at at least uh, at least in 60 frames per second. It's 900p in 60 frames per second on Pro No VR. No, it's not. Who told you? Who the hell told you that this game was 900p on the Pro? Yeah, I'll be right back there. Sick bathroom calls. Yeah, go ahead and do your thing. What game is that? Hellblade.
this while I'm in this. Hold on, hold on. I'm actually looking at this right now. What is this? Oh no, that's that's lawbreakers. I'm not looking for lawbreakers. Hold on, give me one second, y'all. God damn it. I don't see the actual official breakdown. Hold on, I'm looking for the breakdown, y'all, to figure out what the hell it was. Because maybe I'm wrong. And if I am, I will definitely be willing to say I am wrong. Okay, 1080p. Yo, is it just me out uh, there, game, or is sick like really low on the hangouts? No, I can hear a little bit. <clears throat> mm. Turn up your volume. You just really, really goddamn loud. That's what it is. Me? Yeah, your voice loud as hell. Good, and I can wake up some bitches in your chat. All right, so. Base PS4, the frame rate flows between 30 and 40 frames per second while outputting a fairly standard 1080p image. If Ninja Theory simply capped the frame rate to a consistent 30 frames per second, there would be little to complain about here. But as it stands, it's still a bit uneven in presentation. On PS4 Pro side, we have the ability to toggle on and off 60 hertz mode. The folks that uh, found the default mode uses a dynamic resolution up to 1440p but suffers from the similar uncapped frame rate issues we saw on the vanilla. When the 60 hertz switch is thrown, the resolution drops to around 1080p. No, so it's not it's not 900p, it's 1080p. And that's from your, your, your uh, that's from Extreme Tech via Digital Foundry. Not like it makes it any fucking better, but still. God damn it, did I just delete everybody? I think I may have deleted everybody. Y'all still here? Anybody still here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Y'all still here. Good, 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 good. good, good, good. <clears throat> okay. I don't always agree with Xbox Phil, but this time he's telling the truth. Yes, Hellblade is dynamic resolution scaled and runs at 900p at 60 frames. Nope, nope, nope. Not, nope. Corey Razzie. Nope, 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 nope. I don't always agree with Xbox Video. Uh, Digital Foundry. That's where I just got that information from Digital Foundry, which they said 1080p, not 900p. Uh, Jesus, my ears, please lower your vocals, Fatal. You really are loud, Fatal. No, anything can be scaled down to run on anything. Never let anyone else tell you otherwise. They're full of shit. Don't encourage him, Blue Horizon, or you can do what you tell crossplay fans to do and just get the hardware the game was meant to run on, LOL. <laughs> Go to the actual digital foundry analysis at CQ TV. That was the uh that was the analysis from Digital Foundry. That was literally from it was Extreme Tech, but they didn't do nothing but copy Digital Foundry's uh mock-up of the, the game. These dudes sound like a bunch of better housewives. Maybe this time will be different. Hmm. I don't know. Either way, either way, it is what it is. Like I said, um it's okay. My thing is, don't lie. Don't fucking lie. Hellblade is, they're, they're lying, dude. If Hellblade wasn't a part of Microsoft, then we wouldn't be having the same conversation. Not at all. Not at all. Mm. Hellblade on PS4 or PS4 Pro? Oh, no, I don't think the PS4 base had a 60 frames per second mode. Eh, whatever. 
Now the actual digital foundry analysis says it's 900 P. I will post the link if I could. I don't want, no, yep. I, I ain't making nobody else uh, uh, mods. I'm actually taking away mods. I'm taking away mods starting probably whenever I feel like actually going into the set and, and getting rid of it because I've seen on numerous occasions, I have mods in the room and nobody's actually modding. So it's like no point in them being mods. I don't want the shit, therefore I won't get the hardware to run it, but what you're not gonna do is straight up lie to me and think I was born yesterday. Nah. If they uh if they uh uh what the fuck was I gonna say? Jesus Christ, don't get me wrong, y'all. I've been up for about twelve hours now and uh I'm just trying to I'm just trying to keep it going, just trying to keep it going. But anyway, if they wanted to make it run on the PlayStation, they could make it run on the PlayStation. The simple fact is there is no incentive for them to do it. And it only hurts Microsoft as a company for them to do it because Microsoft does not currently have VR. Microsoft does not currently have VR. Why would a company they own now do a game in VR that they have access to and give their opponents, their opposition, the upper hand? Because they have a VR mode. This is what y'all not thinking about. This is what y'all not thinking about. Y'all got to really sit back and take a look at this shit from the inside out. Instead of y'all digging deep, y'all just looking at it from the surface. From the surface perspective, oh yeah, the hardware isn't isn't good enough to run it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, that's how, that, that's what you're saying? All right, so how the fuck did Resident Evil, How how was Resident Evil running then? Can somebody please explain to me how Resident Evil 7 is running in VR? Can somebody please explain to me how Doom is running in VR? How in the hell are these games running, but somehow Hellblade is so demanding? We really finna go there? Are we really gonna take it there? Are we really gonna take it there? Like, seriously? And Skyrim. I don't even fucking play Skyrim, but still. <coughs> and Skyrim. So are we really going to sit up here and have a conversation? <laughs> Cut it out, idiot. Nah, but <clears throat> it, are, are we seriously going to have a conversation about what they can and cannot do? Even though we've seen what can be done. We've seen what can be done, but we're still going to argue the fact of them not putting it on there because it actually hurts the people who own them. What do you think, Game Over HD? Do you really think that this is just a situation where the hardware is limited? Or do you think it's a it's something where Microsoft is like, nah, nigga, y'all work for me. The yeah, fuck you mean putting VR on a PlayStation, nigga? We ain't got VR. Yeah, that's basically what it is because Microsoft owns them. So why would they have Sony make money? And they, Well, Microsoft would benefit too if it was to do that, but they're not hearing that because... Xbox video. Yeah, are you really? In. Are you really? My bad. My my bad. Game over HD. Like you, no, I'm, what, I'm what, definitely gonna let you finish. Really, what they was really doing is creating these developers and these studios for exclusive games. So VR is out of the question. It was just a deploy to say it's not going to run. Listen, I understand exactly what you're saying, Xbox video. But I think you know much better than that. I honestly believe that you know better than that. This is not speculation. This is not something that hasn't been proven several times over. This is really taking a look at the games that are already on VR, that are already in VR. Looking at how demanding those games are. You remember Tekken? Tekken was like, what, 900p on the base PlayStation 4? That was like 900p, right? What's that? Tekken. Tekken 7. That was like 900p on the PlayStation 4. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm almost yeah. thinking that it was. Because I think it was 720p yeah, like... on the Xbox. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So Tekken 7, which seems to either be a demanding game or some weird engine optimization, they were able to put VR on that. Mm. But you're telling me they can't put it on Hellblade, my nigga? If I remember correctly, Hellblade does not have a lot of NPCs on screen at one time. 
Nah, it doesn't know. even have a lot of shit going on in the game itself. And it's not a long game either. It's and really it's you really running through a crazy bitch's mind. Still a great game though. We ain't we ain't gonna we ain't gonna detract from the fact that it's still a great game. But 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 oh, that's not the point. I, I platinum that game. That's yeah, but that's not the point. That's not what we're arguing. That's not what we're arguing. What I'm arguing is, how are you really gonna push this narrative of saying that you think that the hardware is just not strong enough to run it? That makes absolutely no sense when there's much more demanding games in vr it means that if you want to make something work in vr you can if you have no incentive to do so to do so you're not gonna do it and the simple fact of the matter is is that microsoft owns them why in the hell would microsoft have them develop some shit to help them say that they have the definitive version of the game. When we all know it's all about perception. This ain't a misconception. This ain't getting something misconstrued. This ain't, this ain't none of that. This is just pointing out simple fucking facts. This is pointing out simple fucking facts. Y'all could be blind to the shit, but it's right in your face. It's literally right in your face that's what that's what it is now you're gonna have the media outlets it's like this it's like this you know how when your when your your parents tell you when you go out don't embarrass me that's how it is with ninja theory now microsoft is the parent company they own these niggas they like don't you go out here and embarrass us you go out here, you making a fucking a new experience for niggas, for the enemies, for the same people who didn't want to play with us. That's what it is. That's why I'm telling y'all, if y'all believe this seriously, you really believe that goddamn Hellblade couldn't make this game compatible with PlayStation VR. I got a fucking bridge in Brooklyn to sell you, goddamn it. You're sick. Yeah. Am I still loud? Yeah, you loud. I don't think you're going to be able to fix that, though, Fatal. You always loud, nigga. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. So, Fatal, you don't have a horse in this no. race because you don't give a fuck about any of this shit, right? So I'm pretty sure that I can get a pretty straightforward answer from you. Give or take, seeing all the games that are on VR, right? You could easily you could easily yep. Google this shit if you want to, you know, kind of get an idea for yourself. Do yep. you really think Hellblade is not coming to PlayStation VR because the hardware I don't really care if it does is or not. not there? I know you don't care. That's why I preface that question by saying that you don't care and you don't have a leg in the race. What I'm saying is you would be able to give an unbiased opinion on it because you don't care about it at all anyway the question is do you believe that the game is not coming to playstation vr well the game is already on playstation but they're not making a vr version because it simply cannot run <laughs> i don't know if it can and i don't really care to be honest Xbox niggas believe Donald Trump won the election fair and square. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Goddamn OBJ to Don, dog. <laughs> oh man. Although I will say I don't I don't see why it wouldn't actually not run on VR. Fatal, we need Kate's titties in VR. Participate, brother. Fuck our beefs. OBJ. Fatal, the snarky Canadian. Andrew Wilkins. Of course VR can be done. Or not what VR. Are, what of course Hellblade playing? can be done in VR. What I don't get is why they say the PC version needs a 1080 on the NVIDIA side and an RX 580 on the AMD side. Wait, what? 
what that don't even make no sense at all the 1080 is way more powerful than the rx 580 why in the fuck would it require a 1080 A honeydew list since it's <laughs> all right xbox video peace out bro all right so well where i sit with this shit where i sit with it i feel like it's all nonsense and it's bullshit from me playing rigs to me playing star blood arena to me playing far point to me turning around and playing uh Code 51, Mech Assault. Yeah, it's actually a, a, a Mech Warrior type game where you're in an arena and you're fucking uh, battling other mechs. <laughs> if y'all really believe that Hellblade is unable to run in VR because of power, I must say you guys are the most gullible people I've ever seen in my fucking life. And that's facts. I won't call you stupid. I think that's disrespectful. But gullible? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I definitely believe you guys are gullible. No, I agree, though, Sick. I think I think Hellblade can easily be done in VR, but I think that game would also not play well in VR. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, to be honest with you, I don't even think I really even care. But the simple fact is, is like, don't lie, dog. Just come out and be real. Just come out and be real. The only thing that makes sense. Give me one second, y'all. I'm going to be right back. Okay, I'm back. All right. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think that's bullshit. Anyway, moving on, moving on, moving on to more pressing things, uh, because I think I'm all worn out on that. Okay. Uh, some more Bethesda news, some more Bethesda news, some shit that I thought was really interesting too. Um, I think you guys are probably going to think this is very interesting as well, but, uh, Bethesda apparently uh, sued somebody for selling a new copy of their game and selling it as new. Really, really interesting topic. Makes me like Bethesda even more, guys. So, as we go. A strange story started circulating on Polygon overnight involving a man attempted to resell a sealed copy of The Evil Within 2 as a new product on Amazon Marketplace. Bethesda's law firm, Voris, took issue with the listing and threatened legal action against the individual. The company's view is that there is no way to tell that the product is in fact new, and thus it should be advertised as pre-owned, even though it's never opened or played. This has, of course, prompted some people to get ready on social media, with the publisher being accused of trying to shut down used game sales, according to the company's senior vice president of marketing and communications, Pete Hines, that's not the case at all. We're not trying to stop anybody from selling used games, he told Eurogame.net. He specifically was trying to list it as a new product, as if he was GameStop or Best Buy. He's not a company. He's not a distributor. The issue, in Bethesda's eyes, seems to come down to the wording. We don't want our customers buying stuff from a vendor like Amazon, where they think they're buying a new product, and son suddenly finding out they got a disc that's been played. Somebody kicked across the floor and scratched. Oh, they took out the insert that had a special items I was supposed to get for buying this. It's a fair point, 
but there's always a degree of trust that needs to be placed in the merchant when shopping on sites like eBay or Amazon Marketplace, and that's why feedback systems exist. We are not trying to stop anybody selling a used game. We would never try and stop anybody from selling a used game. We do have an issue with people representing they are selling a new copy of a game when we have no ability to tell it it's actually new. So we aren't going to allow somebody to say this is new. If you want to sell your copy of the game, it's pre-owned. Our view is that this is a total overreaction. A quick search reveals dozens upon dozens of sealed copies of The Evil Within 2 being as new on eBay right now. And we can't imagine Bethesda's lawyer will be contacting all of them. Maybe it hopes the actions will operate as a deterrent. Honestly, it feels like it's just wasting time and money to us. So, Bethesda, smart-ass Bethesda, believes that you need to be a distributor right you need to be a distributor or a store to claim that you're selling their shit new what if i bought the evil within two and immediately after i bought it eh, well let's say not let's say eight days after i bought it i realized you what would you want to ship i realized you know what i don't really want the evil within two but I'm out of the grace period where I can return the item back to the store. But it's brand new. If I post my shit on Amazon, Bethesda's going to sue me and say that I don't have a right to resell this as new, even though it's new. Is that fair? Don't get me wrong. I understood their point. I understood their point. I got what they were where they were coming from. But then I look beyond the surface. And I say you're full of shit. Fuck out of here. I think the person who wrote the article actually said it as best as it can be said. That's why there's a feedback system. Also, you did this on Amazon where Amazon will allow you to return any fucking thing. They will let you return any goddamn thing. So really, really, who are they going after with this? Because as they mentioned, people sell shit on eBay all the time. Who are you to dictate whether this shit is new or pre-owned anyway, when you don't know? How can you automatically devalue somebody's product to pre-owned? Because pre-owned, when you hear pre-owned, when you hear the word pre-owned, you will immediately hear that you're going to get less. That's the whole point of pre-owned, right? When you have something pre-owned, the value is less than what it would be if it was new, right? So you want them to mark their shit as pre-owned. The fuck? I had one incident too before where I had um, a sealed game and I tried to take it to GameStop. They wouldn't accept it unless I, I opened it up. I opened it up right in front of them. And it was brand spanking no any test game. I don't remember what game this was. It was a couple of years ago. But um, they wouldn't take it sealed. They only take it when it's open. And I opened it right in front of them. My thing so is my uncompetitive. Oh, my bad. My bad. Go ahead. Game over HD. No, you good. I'm done. My sure, thing with this bad. uncompetitive <laughs> is that I, I, I get that, right? But Bethesda, they want to be the new versus used patrol on Amazon. Why would they even fight this fight? I don't understand. I don't get it. There has to be something. There, there has to be more to this, right? I don't know if they're looking at Amazon sales and they're like, damn, we can't count this as a game sold or something like this. Maybe that's what it is. So they don't want the person actually selling it new because it gives them a falsified idea of how many units they're selling via Amazon or something. I don't know. None of it makes sense to me. Maybe Fatal could put some some sense to this. Go ahead, Common Sense Fatal. <laughs> Fuck you. 
go ahead and put some sense to this because I, I can't make no sense out of it. So, Fatal, what do it's you think stupid. about this? Is that so, Ian? Yeah. Yeah, let, let Ian go first. Give me a second, man. Go ahead, Ian. Yeah, it's 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 a lot of rubbish. Um, they're just trying to stop people from selling games to other people. Well, I don't think they're trying to sell. I don't think they're trying to stop people from selling things to other people. I think that there's a bigger issue here, Ian. Think about this. Think about this. Why would they specifically target games being sold as new? I think it's all because they they feel like. I think they use Amazon or they have something that siphons off sales of uh, particular products and they're looking at it as they can't count that towards their new game sales because it's somebody who bought it and is reselling it. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's still it, rubbish. It has to be, what up, <sighs> ship you then? It has to be something more than what we understand, right? So I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt, even though they're a piece of shit ass company. Fuck Bethesda. But I'm trying to give them the benefit I of agree. the doubt because there has to be some type of analytical purpose. There has to be some type of analytical purpose as to why they're doing this predominantly to new games. They don't give a fuck about used games. If you sell it used, they're not going to even bother you. They're not going to fuck with you at all. It's only when you try to sell the shit new. No, 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 no. They didn't sue Amazon. They sued somebody who was selling on Amazon. This has nothing to do with Amazon whatsoever. Man, fuck Bethesda, dude. It's, it, it has to be something. No, I don't think it's about digital either. I don't think this shit is about what we think it is about. I think it's because it's throwing their analytics off for games sold. That's what I think it is. I think well, I'm not surprised. I think they're counting their revenue, right? And they're like, this revenue is not making sense versus what we're seeing sold as new. So they're trying to stop people from selling shit as new if they've already pre-bought it from somewhere else. That's why they say they only want you selling it if you're a distributor. Or if you're, um, you know, like a store. That's what I'm thinking, Bama Hammer. That's what I'm thinking, Bama Hammer. Usually, when it came to shit like this, I would just be poking fun and taking shots. But I think that there's more to it. And I think if there is more to it, people should understand. What's up, Ice Queen and Jamal Adams? I think if that's what it is, if it's analytics that's being thrown off, why don't you just say, we don't want you selling this as new because you've already purchased it. And that is throwing our analytics off so we don't know how well our game is doing in this particular market. I, if they would have said that, I could completely understand that. And I wouldn't even be arguing the point. But I just feel like it's more than that. What up, Ad What up, Arian? You was already here, weren't you, Arian? I, I could have sworn I already seen you here. Yeah, if they just said it instead of being dead. Yeah, I don't understand it. I don't understand why they're trying to turn something into... They're, they're trying to make nothing into something. You know what I'm saying? Because they're trying to get as much money as they possibly can from that game, dude. Because that game fucking sucks. So they fucking need to find a way to fucking sell it when the dude yeah. sitting up there on amazon trying to sell his used copy as a new copy dude no 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 no, yeah, no i would no, be no. pretty pissed it's not a used copy though they don't give a fuck what it is it you could have just walked out of best buy you know how resellers go to places like best buy like when best buy is having a sale resellers will go to best buy and they'll buy a shitload of games on sale and then they'll resell them on amazon for more money right so they're mm. not opening these games. They're just buying them to resell. I think instead of yeah. M, I, I think instead of them fighting the fight of it being a new game, they should have fought the fight. It isn't new. What what is it new? What what is it new? I, I'm I don't understand what you're saying, uncompetitive. What is it new? If I buy a game from Best Buy. I come home, I have this unopened, untampered with game in my hand, and I want to get on Amazon and sell it as a new product. People are not giving a fuck about analytical bullshit. 
They don't give a fuck about Anna. What's up, Greg? They don't give a fuck about analytical bullshit. They want to know, did this person ever open this game and has it ever touched a console? That's what they want to know. Okay, so you're treating a video game like a car? This wouldn't even be the same thing, uncompetitive. This would be like putting a car on a trailer to no, no, transport no, no, no. it somewhere else. A game. He bought it new, right? And he left it in his package and whatever you want to call it, right? We can barely hear you. Go ahead and say that again. You you just bought it out. But go ahead. Talk loud because I don't want to blow anybody's ears out. Um, so that guy bought the game at retail, brand new, correct? Never right. opened it. It's still in its wrapping package. But here's the thing you're not understanding, dude. As soon as he made that purchase for that game, it's already his. Regardless of the fact that if it's fucking never been opened or used or put in the system, it doesn't matter. That's already got that money. So he technically is selling a new game used. What? Think about it. This is Think about it. The moment, okay, no, 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 no. Go ahead. The moment, the moment you walk into, say, GameStop or whatever you want to call it, right, and you buy that game, you make that transaction, right? Right. That's the transaction of that brand new game that Bethesda is eventually going to see a return on. Okay. Whatever the case would be, right? Then that guy takes that game, doesn't open it, keeps it in its fucking wrap, whatever the case may be, and then decides to sell that game as a brand new game on Amazon, right? Correct. That's not what Bethesda is pissed off about. The reason why Bethesda is pissed off about is because the guy has already bought in the game, already made that transaction, already has fucking purchased it, whatever the case may be. Now he's trying to take that game and sell it as a new game when in actuality it's already technically used. But why would that bother Bethesda? No, because Bethesda is fucking retarded, man. I mean, shit, they're no, no, thinking no, no, about no. not putting a game on a crossplay fucking platform, dude, which is retarded. The reason why I say that is because technically what you're saying is we're all buying used games. That's what you're saying. No. Yes. No. Yes. That's not what I'm saying. You want me to prove it? He never took it home me? and put it in the console. No, 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 no. You want me to prove it? You want me to prove it, Fatal? You want me to prove it, Fatal? Let me prove it to you. Who purchased those? Who purchases those games initially? What do you mean? Before they ever, before they ever hit the store, who purchases those games? Oh, they buy them in bulk. Yeah. GameStop. Yeah, they buy them in, yeah, the in bulk. Does it, it doesn't. It doesn't fucking matter. By your logic, by your logic, Fatal, and this is what you said. They bought it from Bethesda. When they buy it from Bethesda. Okay, let me let me explain no, this no, in kindergarten no, 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 terminology. Because no, 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 no. now you're finna go. No, no, no. This is gonna turn into hypocrisy. Go ahead, shoot. It's not gonna turn into hypocrisy because I'm gonna say the exact same thing that I just said. Go ahead. Okay. When you go to a retail store, mm -hmm. right, and you buy, say, a brand spank, a new comp uh, brand new copy of Destiny 2 on release day, right? Uh -huh. $60 down the drain, wasted fucking money, but whatever. Uh -huh. So you buy that game. So you've already made that transaction, right? Uh -huh. With fucking GameStop, whatever the case may be. It's not used or that crap, but that Bethesda's going to see a little bit of money coming from that, blah, 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 right? Uh -huh. Then you take that game and you say, you know what, man? Fuck it. I'm not going to open this game. I'm going to keep it in its plastic wrap, blah, 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 blah. Then you take that game and you try to resell that game as a new actual as a new game. Okay. Oh, but you still already made that transactions from already from the offset for buying that game already once. And GameStop already made a transaction from buying it from Bethesda. So what's your point? Well, that's what I'm saying. So basically, but see, but that's the thing. Like so what I'm saying is at, at, at the end it, of the fucking buying buying used used game, no, because you're not. What I'm saying is, is that fucking at the moment that you make that transaction for buying a new quote unquote game, you've already made that transactions already. That game is yours, regardless if you fucking open the box, sell the box, doesn't matter. Game you still technically own that game. So, you're, so no matter what you do with that game, after you make that initial transaction for buying the game brand new, you're technically selling it used. GameStop bought the game from Bethesda. It was GameStop's game. They owned that game. That was their property. GameStop then in turn sells it to the customer and then it becomes the customer. But isn't that what retailers are supposed to do? So if if That's I bought point. A, if I bought a game and a game, game is brand a, new, I'm going to sell it and let people know that the condition is new. 
because that's exactly what the fuck it is. It's new. It doesn't matter what theoretically it is. It's still a new game. I agree. If he opens that case, then it's new. It's it's used at that point. That's used. But you can't tell me what's good for the goose is not good for the gander. You ain't going to sit up here and tell me that GameStop purchasing it from Bethesda doesn't make it used, but the person buying it from GameStop then in turn makes it used. The same thing happened. A purchase, a transaction happened. GameStop bought the stock from Bethesda. The person bought the stock from GameStop. It's still a brand new sealed game. That's the condition. New sealed. That's it. What do you think, uh, Ian? Uh, I just don't understand why they've got to be such a pain about... Because they're still getting money. Uh, I know someone's selling it, but it, I don't know why they want to be such a pain about it because they're still getting money when they get it the first time round. So, plus if it's a game that's got microtransactions, they're going to get money back anyway. So, how do you know I, that the game is not used and repackaged? Well, that's the thing, though. Fucking Andrew is that I'm not wrong. Corey Massey, how do you know when you get it from GameStop that it's not opened and repackaged? I guess the answer would be you never know. Man, I don't want to rewrite the conclusion of this topic again. <laughs> he is just selling one unit, unlike scalpers who stock an item. Who stock an item. He is just selling one unit. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's true. Think about it. When people resell people, those um, uh, those Nintendos, what what they call them, the NES minis and classics or whatever, motherfuckers don't be writing um, used NES classic on that. Shit, why would they? I've heard stories where GameStop employees take games home, play them, bring them back, and then repackage and sell them as new. Maybe. That could that could definitely possibly be true. But here's the thing, right? If you're going to crack down on Amazon, then you should also crack down on every other fucking place that could possibly do that. You can't just crack down on Amazon. You're going to tell GameStop that GameStop can do what the fuck they want with it, but a, a regular individual can't? Like, come on, dog. That's 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 ridiculous. So what about people who buy systems and flip them? They sell them as brand new. Apparently, and according according to Fatal, those are used. Once that transaction has been made and they bought those NES minis and they walked out the store, well, actually, not even walked out the store. As soon as they paid money for it and got a receipt, those items are now used. Sick, they want to take the power of consumer out of their hands. I believe that, the almighty Spartan God. I definitely do believe that. Here's the thing. I'm going to tell y'all... And, and I think I explained this earlier, right? What I truly believe, what I truly believe, and I can't prove this, but this is what I truly believe. I truly believe the only reason why they're doing it is because they have a way to siphon analytical data from um, Amazon. And I think those numbers ain't matching. I don't think, I think that no, those numbers ain't matching. The revenue that they're receiving, the revenue that they're receiving or the revenue that they believe that they should have based on the sales figures of new games, I don't think it's falling in line. But here's the thing. This would be a compromise, right? Here's a compromise that I could work with. If if Amazon made people who are not distributors relabel, instead of saying new, labeling it as a reseller item. Not labeling it new, but a reseller's item. I think that that would be a compromise, but that would be something that they would have to speak to Amazon about. Although no longer being newly marketed items, how you been? 
Bethesda cannot scare Sony. They want to put themselves in an authoritative position alongside Microsoft just to say they got Sony to do something. I don't know what they deal is, but they're bullshit. Who would you blame if you got a new game from a stranger and it's filled with Spider-Man's ashes, the person or the company? Um, I wouldn't blame oh. anybody. What I would do is if I got a if I got a product that wasn't what they described it to be, I would contact the reseller, uh, the retailer. If it's Amazon, I'll contact Amazon and say, "Hey, I want to get my uh, refund back because I just got a case full of ashes." Let me mess your mind up even more. How do you make digital items new or used? Well, the way you make a digital item new or used, and this is going off of Fatal's logic, is that as soon as you purchase something digitally, as soon as you get that receipt from Sony or Microsoft, that digital item is now used. It's no longer new. Doesn't matter if you ever loaded the game up or anything. That is the most dumbest shit I ever heard you say. As long as you as long as you paid for it and got the receipt, then it's used, right, Fatal? It is used. See? It's used at that point. No, no, Cypherboard. Yes, there is. As as long as you got a receipt for something, it's used. It's used. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I swear some of you guys are fucking retarded. There was discussion that Microsoft would allow the transfer of licenses for a fee. Well, they would be selling used games. The condition of that game that you currently have bought would be new, but as far as the actual idea behind it is technically used. Yeah, but we've been talking about the condition this entire time. When you're selling something on eBay, they actually, But here's the thing. They fucking, actually, yeah, but that's no, not, no, no, I'm just no, talking no, about no, the no. moment that you buy that game. When you're selling something on eBay, the first thing they ask you is what is the condition of the product? That's when you Of course they do. Of course they do. But that's what Bethesda don't want you to do. They don't want you to tell somebody that this is a new condition. No, I do make sense. It's just that your brain can't comprehend it. But GameStop has receipts for games they purchase for their stores, dude. I just said the same thing, Andrew. I said the same thing, but it's okay for them because they're distributors. Right, Fatal? Dude, please, please don't be dumb. Right, Fatal? Because they bought it. Because they bought it. And they're the distributors. Oh, okay, I don't understand that when you buy a product, man, right? Like, no matter what product, it doesn't have to be a game. It could be anything. It could be anything, right? Fucking you go to a store and you buy something and you make that transaction with that person. You're buying a brand new shirt, for example, right? Uh -huh. But you never wear it. You never fucking wear it. You need to put that shirt up on eBay or on Amazon for fucking for the exact same price that you paid for? Absolutely. It's still got the tag on it and everything and it's oh, in new condition. God. Fuck yes. What are you talking about? <laughs> yes, Fatal. Yes. Yes, you would, Fatal. That's retarded. <laughs> Javiah Dixon. So, okay, okay, okay. Chat. So, let's say I bought well, a game. Hold on, I bought, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Got to pay the bills, got to pay the bills. So, if the guy started a, uh, a LLC and was now a store, is the same game now due? Yeah, yes, yes, so, Javiah Dixon. So, so <laughs> let, me, let me ask this. Let, let, let me just ask this, man, and I'm, I'm moving away from this topic. This topic is giving me a headache of how retarded it is. So, okay, so let's say fucking, let's say you walked into the store and you bought a used, like a, not, not a used, sorry, correction, a new copy. Of uh, say fucking the evil within two, right? right? Bring it home, you plaster it on your shelf because you think you're something fucking you wrinkle. You care about your retail collection, even though it doesn't matter. Mm. Let's say, but a month goes by, month goes by, right? Fucking, you decide to go up and say, hey, you know what, man, the game is still in this fucking package. I'm not going to play it. Let me bring it down and see if I can bring it to a retailer and fucking sell it, correct? Is that retailer going to buy that game from you at the full price that you originally paid it? I'm waiting for the answer. I'm waiting for the answer. 
Hello? Yo. Yeah, he's, I think he's away doing something. Okay. Answer me this question, right? Okay. Buy game retail wise, fucking, you leave it on your shelf for about maybe, let's say, let's say two weeks. Let's say two weeks, right? Uh -huh. And you, let's okay. say you either misplaced your fucking receipt or whatever the case may be, or you didn't bother to keep your receipt. Doesn't fucking matter. Mm -hmm. You decide to bring that game in, you never opened it. Blah, 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 blah. You bring it into, say, Best Buy or, or fucking wherever you decide to go to sell your shit, right? Right, right. Is that retailer going to give you the full fucking price of that game that you paid for originally? Just because it's, in, it's brand spanking new. Yes, Best Buy does that for me all the time. Yes, sir. They do it for you all the time? Yes, yes, yes. yes they really? Do. Yes. So you bring, in, you, bring in, you bring in a brand new copy yes. of a game. Yes. And they give you $60. Yes. yes. God, I wish Best Buy did yes. that over here. Yes, 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 Fatal, oh. yes. Yeah! No, they don't. <laughs> oh my god! No, they don't. <laughs> yes, Someone they do. Some yes, uh, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. What if they do? Then Best Buy needs to start doing that over here. Because I am a Best Buy uh, premium member. No, they don't have it over and here. I have. I, I can bring things back in like thirty days. Yes. Okay, that's thirty days. But what if it's after thirty days? Then I guess I won't be able to bring it back. Now would I? There you go. But that doesn't make any sense, Fatal. That's just their return. No, policy. what I'm saying is, no, no, no. What I'm new. saying is, what I'm saying is part? that fucking. No, I'm saying, what if you didn't have, like, let's say, fucking, you didn't have a receipt or something like that? You lost your receipt, or you mis misplaced your receipt. Uh huh. You bring that game in. So you I, bring it to GameStop. I, I think GameStop is going to give you fucking full retail price of that shit. I can't misplace receipts because I have. Uh, they, they go to my email. You got to use a different. Oh, that's example. pretty cool. Well, there you go. That works. You got to use a different example. All right, so so the man things must be different in the states than we do it over here because I've tried to bring games back that I did that I bought retail back in the day, fucking brand spanking new, and didn't get fuck all for it. Well, well, here 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 we go, here we go, here we go. Right, this is a game. This game is still factory sealed. I don't know if y'all can see this. Still got the plastic on it. You see that? You see that? Still got the plastic on it. You should play that game. It's good. Still, yeah, I got can't it on, see it. What game is it? I can't I see it. it on, I got it on PC. Homefront Revolution. Um, but Homefront Revolution. Yeah, Homefront Revolution. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're laughing at, bro. <laughs> I really game, that game know. is fucking trash, bro. It's being sarcastic. N no, no, it's not, Fatal. You, oh God. You, you gotta play it, Fatal. I'm pretty sure you can find it for like home. What that fucking that. home front game? I can play it on Game Pass. I ain't playing that. Play it. Play it. I don't need to play something that's garbage. But okay. dude, you usually play garbage. All right, cool. <clears throat> no, I actually play good garbage, not shitty garbage. But doesn't matter. Doesn't matter about the game. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter what it is. It is still in the plastic. Never been opened. Fully sealed. If I was to sell this game. I would sell it under the condition of it being new. I would not say that it's used because the product that they're getting is new. It's new. It's a new product. I don't, I don't know how many people would sell something that is new as used just because they have a receipt <laughs> saying that they paid for the game. That is unethical, and you are a very bad man. <laughs> Yo, hey, how is that unethical? It's a brand spanking new game. Andrew, Ooh. you barely see me play anything outside from the Ooh. recent fucking bigger titles. Biatch, shut your mouth. Check this out. Who would receive this game, open it up, and be like, ah, oh, fuck. First of all, Somebody's... I'm not a jabroni. Second of all, I don't use shitty-ass eBay in Canada because eBay's Canada is fucking garbage, man. Just like your face is. Who would buy Ooh. this? But but Wanye, Wanye, if I sold this game as new and somebody bought it as new, would they be unhappy when they receive this copy of this game? No, but the developer will be. I don't give a fuck about the de fuck the developer. Is that the whole entire argument here? No, that's not the entire argument. The argument is the fact that they sued somebody over selling something in the condition of being new. That's what the entire argument is about. Yeah, but you just said at the very offset of this conversation about the analytics thing, right? 
No, 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 no. That's your answer. Listen, listen, listen. That is my answer. That is not a confirmed answer. No, that is a legit that answer. Is, that I, I know it's a legit answer. That's why I said it. But what I'm saying is I don't give a fuck about what they saying. This game is new. And this bitch will be new until this motherfucker is open. Until it's until its package is unsealed and unraveled, it will be considered new. You can still do searches for new products and seen thousands of regular people selling brand new products. No one got sued for it. I know well, back home, arsenic if, still. If it's not opened, it's still classified as new, so Yep, sealed equals new. It's a store's policy too. Facts. But you wouldn't you oh Oh, let me show you how new this is, right? Every single place where you go to buy something, they always have some form of a return policy, right? If I was to find a receipt right now, a receipt right now that says Homefront Revolution or whatever the code is, right? And I picked it up off the ground and it was a fresh receipt. I could definitely take this game back and they will definitely return it. And why would they return it? Why would they return this game for me and give me my money as if I bought it new? Because they look at it and it appears to be new. I sold Magic the Gathering singles out of the booster pack as new and didn't get sued by wizards. Because them niggas don't give a fuck. But you wouldn't know it's expired and the company wouldn't take ownership of the resale. Oh, my head hurts. Yeah, but here's the thing. What type of what 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 could really happen? What would really happen from selling a game as new? What would mm -hmm. really go wrong? The serial codes don't matter because they're the same on every goddamn package. Every game has the same barcode. Every every game has the same barcode. If y'all got a physical game, if y'all got a physical game and y'all from the same territory I'm in right now, I will give you, you, you can read out a code and I will show you that that's the exact same code that I have on my packaging here. What's up, Mr. Pio? Motherfucker, I ain't taking no goddamn L, especially not from you, Spartan fuck. But yeah, Wanye Tuda, no, the serial codes don't matter. They're all the same. They're all the same. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Oh, God. Oh, my head. Anybody got anything else to say on it, or we're going to move on? <clears throat> oh, please move on, because I don't I don't yeah, feel like bashing my head against a wall. At least the brain cells. Fucking retarded this conversation is. Now dumb people are in your chat. It is actually a retarded conversation, and they definitely shouldn't... It is! It's fucking dumb! It. Um, <clears throat> so, Doom got gameplay. And I must say, guys... Awesome. I am so not giving a fuck about Doom. Oh, I thought it was awesome. Maybe it's just it feels like more of the same to me. I don't. I don't. No, know. that's that's what Doom is. Yeah. No, and I, I guess that's really what it is. I mean, it's not really for me to look. But Shut I am up, excited please. about Rage. I am excited about Rage too. Did y'all see that Rage two trailer? That yeah. shit. Nah, I lost lit. my excitement for that game. That shit is lit. That shit is lit. Be honest. Who saw the who saw the new rage trailer? Who saw the new rage trailer? Either. I don't hold L's, Andrew. I fucking I give fucking facts from my knowledge, dude, man. All you do is predictions. You stay in your lane, Andrew. Stay in your lane, buddy. No, 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 no. See, hold on. I think y'all missing the point. I never said anything was wrong with the Doom gameplay. The Doom gameplay is what you come to expect from Doom. It's awesome. Yeah, it's what you come to expect from Doom. I don't care about Doom. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't care about Doom. And I. And it, even more now, fuck Bethesda. The first Doom so game was fuck a fucking snooze fest for me, man. Uh, I haven't seen Rage Two trailer too. Oh yeah, you got You got to go see that uncompetitive. The meat hook looks badass. Doom, the Doom trailer was alright, but fuck Bethesda. Facts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here you are still buying Rage 2, right? Oh, I'm definitely getting Rage 2. I don't give a fuck about then all that. Then shut the fuck up, then. I don't, <laughs> give a fuck, I don't give a fuck about all that. I'm still getting <laughs> Rage 2. <laughs> I, and the thing is, if they make another Evil Within, guess what? 
I'll be getting I'll garbage. Be fucking oh, garbage. Within, I'll get another evil within. Shit, y'all playing? Uh, it's supposed to be a toad anyway, so. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, instant. Da, 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 da. That's all, folks. Whoa, let me put that shit on mute. I'm always fucking negative, dude. I'm proud to be negative. Somebody's got to be. Shit. I mean, you'd much rather be negative than positive. You guys don't help me in that fucking factor. You're fucking all retards and shit. I don't, I don't <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm totally kidding. I, I'm totally kidding. I don't think the evil would think serious is not garbage. No, it's not. I'm just talking shit. I'm talking shit, dude. I'm talking shit. It's definitely not garbage. Definitely not. Good. I like both my people. They pretty good. First one was still the best. Dog, look at this no, shit, no. man. The first one. one. Uh, look at this I shit. Think the second one was the best. Just look at this, man. Look at this. This is beautiful. What am I supposed to be looking at here? I'm looking at paint dry. This oh wow. This is beautiful, bro. I don't know why y'all tripping on, on on rage, man. I can't wait to play. Country this boy, game. I'm insulted, Andrew. I can't wait to watch this. I, I can't wait to play this shit, man. Facts. I'm more excited for Red Dead than um. You the only Dead. one. You the only one, fam. <laughs> Fuck a yeah, Red I'm Dead. Real, like, yeah, Fuck a Red Dead. Red Fuck Red a Dead. fucking Red Dead. Nah, I'm just. But I've seen that shit just playing. I can't say anything positive, man. That's not. That's not who I am. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, but Doom Eternal's multiplayer will be developed in-house, so that is something. They are adding a multiplayer to Doom. Are you guys excited about this? I heard it was somewhere yeah, you can jump in and out of people' games and shit like that. It's... Yeah, you can jump into people's campaigns. Uh, why would you do that though? Like the game, the campaign, playing that campaign solo and being able to, you know, wreck shop. That's kind of, it's kind of. No, I'm not feeling. special there, fucking boy. I just know my shit. It's kind of a great feeling right there. <clears throat> Doom was What's one of feeling? 2016's most beloved releases, but you rarely hear anyone mention its disappointing multiplayer mode. Really? I thought the multiplayer. I actually mode had was quite fun with the multiplayer, man. Their That's single player put me to fucking sleep, dude. The levels just never wanted to end. <laughs> the game was great. Levels? Don't get me wrong. Did you make levels? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that the was game was great. Don't get me wrong, but some of those levels were just fucking just went on and on and on, dude. <laughs> oh, that's 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 how Doom. I hope to God they fix that in the second one, dude, because the second one looks fucking awesome. That grappling hook shit looks fun. Damn right. What? I said something positive? <gasps> Fancy fucking that. Dumbass chat. Wait, we are Canadian. <laughs> Good point. Man, they're they're trying so hard to compare Spider Man to everything. I don't I don't Didn't know why. Fucking let them, dude. Let those toolboxes fucking do that shit. Fuck them. How similar is Marvel Spider-Man's combat to Batman Arkham? Like, why are we even... Are making... you fucking what? I don't even know why we're making this comparison. Why do you I... even bother to look this stuff up, dude? I... Is these Xbox fans that's doing this? No, this is... Uh, push... Probably. This is... You're on Twitter, so I can't blame you on no, that. No, no, no. This is... No, I'm not. This is Push Square. This is Push Square. Wait, 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 wait. wait. It's an actual article? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know, man. I guess any game that has a system where you can link combos and do multiple things with it, it's kind of like the Rise Syndrome. Because I remember they compared Mad Max to Batman as well. And Mad Max. Oh, because they had similar combat style, right? Yeah, it, I guess it was. Oh, Mad similar. Max was atrocious. I, I mean, that's when like saying the same thing for Assassin's Creed, though, too. Yeah, but that's why I say I don't understand it. It's like any game yeah, I mean, where yeah, you yeah. can link combos, they're comparing it to Arkham, the Arkham series. Like, dog, what? Like, God. Not all First it was Rise, now it's fucking Arkham. God damn, dude. Dude, I mean, well, if that's the case, then we need to compare all fighting games to Street Fighter then, right? Like Exactly, yeah, right? That's, exactly. Just, that's the type exactly. of things that Spider... The things that they've been showing about Spider-Man and his movement of different move sets. That's the way Spider Man is. That's what yeah. I was thinking. That's what, what I was the thinking, bro. Fuck? Like, it is what it is, though. Well, weird wish, don't worry. Uh let's see what else we got in the news here, y'all. Uh Rage 2 blows up seven minutes. Yeah, okay. I already know. That's that's great. Check out twelve minutes of new shadow. Nah, I'm tired of seeing Tomb Raider. Fuck that. The Walking Dead final season is looking superb on PS4. That shit gonna listen, they said they changed the engine. They said they changed the engine. Yeah. I guarantee you that shit is still going to be a janky ass fucking playing game. How many people want to bet? We can make this bet right now. 
How many people think that the Telltale people, the Telltale developers actually fix their engine to have a reasonable engine when playing the game? How many people in the chat? I want to know. How many people in the chat believe them? Let's compare Tekken to Street Fighter. Oh, wait. <laughs> you have it on plus. I don't have a comment. I don't care for their games. Um, I do have a couple of the games, but. Oh, Telltale? Nah, Telltale, yeah, they, they make games. good stories, man. Like, to be honest yeah, with true, you. Yeah, true, but I was, I'm not. I don't know. I, I was I was really that. into the uh, Batman when they did. I think they put a, a a nice little twist on Batman, man. Yeah, that one was pretty cool. Yeah, Telltale is an illusion. <laughs> Do they mean it's gonna be new graphics? No, it's not about the graphics, right? It's supposed to enhance the performance. It's supposed to enhance the performance. Yo, we got seventy seven people in here. Can y'all please hit that like Holy button or shit. the dislike button? It doesn't matter which one y'all hit. Just hit one of them motherfucking buttons so this shit can get out to more people. Thank you. Anyway, shameless plug. Let me continue. Uh G35 is garbage anyways, man. So appreciate it, twisted. Appreciate it, twisted, appreciate it, twisted sin. Have not finished. Ono son, Ono son needs to step down, man, from fucking Street Fighter. Let somebody else actually make Street Fighter good again. I see that's the thing. You being a person who plays Street Fighter, right? I want to have this conversation because I don't really get this conversation. Anytime I play Street Fighter, it always feels the same to me. What is it that you guys are playing that you're thinking that it's 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 not an unbalanced? It's too slow paced. Number one, it's too slow paced. Secondly, it's unbalanced as fuck. Okay, now unbalanced. When you say unbalanced, do you mean somebody has the advantage because they their hits are more powerful? Are they bigger characters? What makes them unbalanced? Fatal. Um. What the fuck? What makes him unbalanced? Fucking Wi-Fi. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm I'm trying to have a serious question here because I I, I really uh I heard this shit with a lot of stuff. Everybody, every game they're saying that it's unbalanced. I don't like I don't like the slow paceness of fucking Street Fighter Five. So you think it should? Be I more mean, on a there's always going to be balance issues. I really can't sit there and, and, throw, and throw the the heat on on balance issues because every fighting game is going to have balance issues. Ooh. Uh, and eventually they work those out. I'm just not a big, big fan of modern Street Fighter because they slow the whole entire fucking gameplay down. Okay, that's fair. And fucking where Street Fighter originally used to be fucking fast as fuck. That no, that's fair. That's but fair. Not I, like so, like hyper was the hyper. But I mean, as far as I, I, I really can't cop out and say the game sucks because of its unbalances because every fighting game has that. Right. right. No, 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 I like Street Fighter Five. I have fun with it. I have fun with it. Don't get me wrong, I do. But as far as like my preferred one goes, no, bitch, I don't play on these. I don't even play. What the fuck, man. Well, so you guys really, yo, people in the chat, you guys really need to think before you open your gums, man. Really, <laughs> but fatal to very like, goddamn slow too. Hey man, y'all no, it was, it was, yeah, yeah, but it, it, no, and it was, it was, but then it, when it went to the Super Street Fighter, things started to fucking speed up a lot more. Man, stop like me personally, like I, I like Third Strike more than I do with Four and Five, or Alpha for that matter too. As well. Yeah, yeah, Hi Hyper is my best one. I like. Shut up. Hyper uh, was the Beto. shit. I've been playing Street Fighter, Street Fighter 5 Hyper. all morning. Yo, it's wavy, bro. Let me tell y'all. Let me, let me tell y'all something about wavy, right? Wavy is the only person I know, right? Yeah, he I know who played, wavy is. I know he's a big Street right. Fighter fan, but it doesn't change the fact that Street Fighter 5 is not that very good of a Street he Fighter. Played, he played Street Fighter 5, right? PlayStation. Got the platinum. I was like, holy shit. What the fuck? That's probably a platinum. I'm never going to Congrats to fucking Wavy for that, dude. I'm, That's awesome. I'm never going to put that much time in the Street Fighter. It's just not going to happen. But, but, I have to applaud that. He then proceeded to go on PC, repurchase Street Fighter, and he's still putting in hella hours in Street Fighter. I'm like, God damn, dog. Like, he knows no bounds, bro. <laughs> Yo, can y'all hear me? Yeah, it cut out a bit, but uh, you're back. Yeah, okay, okay. Good, 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 good. Rage 2 fucks Red Dead Redemption 2 in the ass. Yo. Oh, did, you, did you see there's a date now for the Division 2? Shout out for Uncompetitor. If that bitch is coming out in February, dog. You are uh, entitled to your opinion. Yo, is, is that shit coming out in February? No, it's out on the 15th of March. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So they got the hell out of February. They smart. Yeah. They smart. They There's smart. too much shit going on in February. <laughs> Way too much shit going on in February. Everybody is trying, I feel like everybody's trying to hit that cutoff for like, yeah. you know, the end of the, the year or whatever. They're all yeah. trying to hit that cutoff, dog. 
Red Dead yeah. Redemption it's, Two it's like, is uh, better than Super Mario Brothers Three. You better yeah. not ever say that in your life. Well, Crackdown Three is probably Fuck. February twenty fifty two or something. Fuck out of here. Red Dead yo, Redemption yo, yo, yo. Two What's good? What's is good? not better like than Super Mario Brothers Three, bro. Good, I will like not it. take that disrespect, Mister Payo. Put put respect on the Italian plumber that jumps like a black man, and uh, yeah, put some respect on him. Red Dead Two jumps like a great. black man. <laughs> I, I always wondered that. How, I I always thought everybody jumped the same, but nah, 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 nah not, not this motherfucker. You ever seen how how this uh, goddamn Listen, I'm trying to be uh, what they call it? stereotypical. Okay, just, let me be stereotypical for a minute. Oh, okay. okay. Thank I you. just wonder because I always thought it'd be jumped the same. But what's up, Lincoln Clay? What is up? Uh, if I if I may, yo yo yo, what is good, everybody? It is your boy Lincoln Clay. Please excuse my tardiness as I was up till about five in the morning streaming. But I do want to say I had a great time with it. God damn! Yeah, I, was, I saw him. He was playing uh, GTA. And so uh, I definitely want to thank everybody for coming into the chat. I really had a good time uh, chatting with y'all. Uh, so awesome! Glad to see, glad to see that you're here, there, uh, there Lincoln. Yeah, thanks. Uh, uh, just real quick, though, sick before before we move on, let me just say this one last thing about Street Fighter, real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I don't hate Street Fighter Five whatsoever. If I did, I would have never bought it, and I would have never played it for as long as I had fucking played it. I will give props to Street Fighter Five for doing one thing better, though. They actually made combos a little bit more easier to fucking you know what i mean because four was that game was rough man when it came to timing that shit because like the frame traps and all that crazy shit too as well five on the other hand though actually i had a lot of fun doing those trials i completed all the trials too as well outside from the second season of them, i think it was i don't hate the game i like it i just wish it was a little bit more faster paced though but i don't hate it though so i figured out one if you game. honestly think that dude you are retarded so I figured out I, I figured out what um what my issue was with you know like uh the previous weeks with the stream just all of a sudden just like uh starting to buffer and shit like that. It was that it was that computer with the eighty three fifty in it with the ten sixty. Um oh uh Mook, I made it to the part mm. where I'm fighting a werewolf in a cave. And the motherfucker just keep regenerating health, bitch ass nigga. Um, so I'm gonna take care of him probably right after this podcast because he just he, he's a he's a he's a he's a bitch. He, he's a bitch. Well, <laughs> it's, it's not even really a he; it's a she. But you know, there's some bitches, fucking werewolves. Um, but nah, what I've been doing though is I just been grinding for money though. I've been grinding for coins and shit. I'm up to like I think like ten thousand coins or something like that. I'm just grinding for coins, man, because I found out what my biggest issue was is the fact that I kept running out of money, so I didn't have potions, I didn't have um, food, I didn't have anything, and I would I would try to go into these battles, and then I would get my ass handed to me because I ain't got nothing. So right now, I'm just grinding, uh, getting some uh, coins and shit, and also so I can buy some new uh, swords and shit. Uh, yeah, absolutely, Jamal Adams, for sure, for sure. Is the werewolf in Skellige or the one in the cave by Novigrad? The one in the cave by Novigrad. The one where uh, the chick, uh, she left in the middle of the night, or at least they think she left in the middle of the night. And uh, you find out that there's a werewolf, and then the girl comes to her. Her sister, her so-called sister, comes to her. And, uh, well, it comes to Gerald, or Gerald, however you want to call his name. And they tell Gerald... Um, well, she tells Gerald not to actually pursue uh, what's happening. And, uh, you know, I chose to be the superhero and say, nah, I got to complete my quest as a witcher. And now I'm um, you sick. You smashed in the witcher. Um, nah, I ain't get that far yet, man. I ain't get that mm -hmm. far. Y'all got to remember. Are man, you talking I, about the bitcher three? Yeah, I've only been able to put in so many hours okay. uh, because I've had to I had to work the last four days. But believe you me, I'm probably going to be like really no life in that shit today because i gotta do some more grinding and shit i, I, I fucking love the I was, game so far though i was so hyped for uh with the witcher 3 when it first came out pre-ordered it waited till it i already came finished out. kiera's quest Guess kiera's quest trophies was easy. i have on that game when it first came. i got one trophy in what game the witcher 3 it turned me off 
Really, my nigga? You're not missing out on much, sir. Yo, I definitely am. I definitely am a S2 in game. I bought it day one. A U.S. Army veteran and primarily a PC gamer. The one on the panel is Canadian. Wait, let's all hey! take bets on what ending you're hey! going to get. Wow. I don't know, man. I've been doing a whole bunch of shit, man. People told me it's like three different endings, though, but I'm playing it on Death March. And honestly, I'm glad I'm playing it on Death March because Death March isn't hard at all. And that's one of the reasons why I'm happy that I'm playing it on Death March because if I'd have played it on Easy or some shit like that, I'd have been pissed because I'd have been running through everything. Tell me you didn't free Pesta. Um... Pyro, dude, Mr. Pyro, man, you are a terrible fucking troll. I don't know. I don't know. What's he saying? He's always talking shit. It depends on who Pesta is. I don't know. I got to figure it out. Anyway, <clears throat> let's go ahead and move on. Uh, Just to backtrack a little bit. Uh, fa uh, I'm Lincoln. not dissing the Witcher, dude. I would dare diss that game, dude. Lincoln. Fuck off, man. Yes. Uh, just to backtrack a little bit, we did have our conversation about Bethesda and their fuckery, uh, talking about crossplay with their fucking card <laughs> game. They can go suck a dick. Uh, do you have anything to add to that, good sir? There's a part of me that believes that the car, that game was probably never going to make it to the PlayStation to begin with. Um, a card, su a game such as that, uh, a mobile looking game, I, I just don't see how the game would have sold on the PlayStation anyway. So for them, it might have been more trouble than it's worth to put it on the PlayStation platform. I'm not even sure we'll see it on the Xbox or Nintendo. It's a free-to-play free game, though. It, it, still, um, but you know, I think them and Microsoft is a pair of bitches. You know, for them, mm -hmm. you know, for them, you know, throwing more dirt on Sony on behalf of Microsoft. And I mean, the fuckery just never ends with Microsoft and their um and they band of hoes. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Retarded for doing that. Stupid as fuck for coming out and saying that they don't want to support a platform that is fucking retarded. It, it, fucking and not only that, it, you know, it's, it's your biggest, you know, uh, it's your biggest customer as far as I'm concerned. I've used the food analogy before of selling, you mm -hmm. know, of being a meat supplier, selling food to both McDonald's and Burger King. And you're going to threaten McDonald's that you won't sell them any more um, meat products if they don't share the Big Mac with, with Burger King. You know, as McDonald's, I'd be like, well, fuck you. I, I would totally I, I'll be down get, with yeah, that, actually. I'll get, I'll get my um, supplies from someone else, so fuck you. I mean... I wish I could get a Big Mac with, with Burger King fries. If the dude is that serious, though, about that shit, let's see, how, let's see how Bethesda sounds as it gets closer to the release of Fallout 76. Let's see if he jumps up and threaten to keep that game off the PlayStation platform. Well, honestly, I mean, if they do, I'd just be like, go ahead and do that shit, man. Like, I don't, I, to be honest with you, I don't really care. It's it's like this. PlayStation created an ecosystem where they can sustain, they can sustain themselves. Microsoft evidently followed what was going on in the industry or what they had talked about behind closed doors, and they end up getting fucked over. That's not Sony's fault. That's not PlayStation's fault. They're trying to punish PlayStation for doing things right. That 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 makes absolutely no fucking sense. That makes no sense at all to me. So it's like if 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 PlayStation fans are not crying and screaming and jumping out the window for it, why in the fuck would Sony listen to Microsoft? That don't make no fucking sense to me. But either Facts. Way, but either way, I mean it is what it is, man. Like I said, I don't really even care about it anymore. <sighs> but Bethesda could go suck a dick and You can get you stuck in the buy rage too. <laughs> yeah, I'm still gonna buy rage. But fuck them. They can go suck a dick, dog. Facts. I agree 100%, dude. Yeah, but that's it. You're doing some dumbass shit when, like, last year you got a lot of praise for sticking up about single player games, and all of a sudden now you come out with Fallout 76. Multiplayer only, bitch. Yeah. If that will be I mean, it's a little bit of money that Microsoft might be throwing on behind the scenes worth all this shit. Dude, I, I don't think it's about shit. money, man. I don't think it's about what y'all think. Come on. No, I don't think that. I think it's thing. about the bigger picture, dog. It's something that we know nothing about. Everybody who tend to fuck with Microsoft are now starting their own little services, their own little fucking, like, you got the EA Access shit, right? You got Uplay, you know what I'm saying? You got Bethesda doing their little Bethesda store, you know, basically trying to say they don't want to give Steam a cut of their money and shit like that. Like, the way I feel about this shit, dog, is I feel like there's something else going on. Something we know nothing about. And... Again, I know I sound like one of them tin foil hat aliens. I just saw alien in the sky ass niggas, but it just none of this makes sense, dog. 
None of this makes sense. You are catering to the person who is the least common denominator in the console space. How much sense does that make to y'all? Facts. How much, does, how much sense does that? That doesn't make any fucking sense. So you got to really ask yourself what's really going on. What is it that we don't know? Because if you do, if you sit back and ask yourself that one question, you will realize that there is something clearly going on that we have no clue about. Bethesda been fucking up. Yeah, they have. Everyone knows not to trust their products. Facts. And all of a sudden, Bethesda is on this service kick. They're all of a sudden on this multiplayer kick. When have Bethesda ever been about multiplayer? That's the question that I want to really ask everybody. When no, has really. Bethesda really been on that fucking um that that type of tip? Good no. point with the Fallout series and the um in the Elder Scrolls Elder Scrolls uh, Online franchise. Excellent point. Right. I mean, don't get me wrong. They have Elder Scrolls Online, and that's been out for a minute. But they weren't solely focused on that shit. Now this no. is their main focus. This is what they've turned all of their attention to. So fuck Bethesda. I don't even want to talk about Bethesda no more. Fuck mm -hmm. Doom. But not really. It ain't really fun. No, because I'm getting that, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to be bad. Listen, I want to be bad, but they make some bomb-ass games, dog. Fuck yeah. them niggas, though. Mm. Fuck them niggas, man. Yo, they need to well, get hey, you know, truth, truth be told, Truth be told, though, sick, man. Ray J is only being published by Bethesda, not being developed of course, by Bethesda. Of course, of course. I'm so gonna, I, can give you, I, I can easily give you that. But the thing is, I was going to get Rage anyway. You know what I'm saying? I might even get mm -hmm. Doom, but that's that's not going to be a day one for me. None of these games is really a day one for me no more. I got to catch up on the games that I already got. I got to catch up on the shit that I already got. Yeah, there's not uh, many games I'm, I'm planning on buying between now until the end of this year. I'm not really a big fan of... Uh, I'm not really a big fan of Bethesda anyway. Uh, the only game I have from them is the um, Skyrim VR, and I only got that because it was 20 Garbage! I, I, I caught it for 25 bucks at the store, and that was like last week. Not bad. Uh, That's actually not bad price though for that game, Mister Pio. So, you don't want to know garbage. You, you really, best to make is Wolfenstein. You really don't want to know how many games I got in the backlog. You really don't want to know. Nobody wants <laughs> to crossplay that bullshit card. That's not the point. The point is, why are you pushing the issue? It, tell me this. Tell me this. As a company, why are you not pushing Microsoft to be better? Instead of pushing Sony to help Microsoft, push Microsoft to do better. Mm -hmm. Do better. Make better games. Make games that people want. You make games that people want, guess what happens? They buy your platform to play those games. How Are you sure about that? that, dog? Yes. I'm very sure about he that. He is 100% about that because Microsoft I'm very don't want to sure do better and, and they want to try to bring Sony down to their level and bring in some x thoughts to help them. Don't, oh God! Exactly. Don't be sorry. Be better. Yeah. Definitely. That's my thing. That's my thing. We're letting Microsoft off too easy. Microsoft is not getting the heat. That off too doing. easy. Yes. Yes. Off too easy. Exactly what I just said. Nobody's holding Microsoft to any fucking thing. Everybody is just saying, "Wait, wait. They'll get it together. Wait." Wait, wait, since 2013, wait to 2014, 2014, wait to 2015, 2015, wait to 2016. It's always been wait, wait for the Scorpio, wait for the power of the cloud, wait for DX12, wait, 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 wait. And you, you guys it. bitch about Microsoft every fucking day. So the they question is yeah. fatal. <laughs> That's why I say you we do not let these motherfuckers i'm not gonna let them off easy but the general populace is letting them off way too fucking easy facts i'm starting to get and they ready and, and whatever uh whatever microsoft try to smear sony um them and you know their their mindless band of followers as well as the media is ready to show up at sony's front door with um pitchforks and torches they hated to hear that Red Dead Redemption too. For what exactly though? Listen, they, for anything Microsoft tries shit? to spare them on, not just anything Microsoft tries ah. to throw dirt on them about. Here, here's the, here's the best thing, right? Listen to this, Fatal. Red Dead Redemption Two. Rockstar comes out says the game is 4K on the PlayStation. They make videos saying that Rockstar is lying. Th think about this, Fatal. Yeah, those people are retarded. Think think those about this, Fatal. 
The people who made the game talking about a fan base, is somehow fucking lying. Really? The, the people who made the game. Right? <laughs> the logic in that, bro. What is the logic? No, but the fanboys, the fanboys on both sides of the spectrum. Hell, even the Nintendo fanboys, they're all fucking retards. But it doesn't make sense to me. Listen, I could understand if it was just some random, if it was like me or you or somebody like, yo, this game looked like it's running in 4K. Then you make something like, you don't tell the fucking developers that they're wrong. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, uh, fanboys are fucking ill retarded, dude. Seriously. I've uh, given up on them anyway a long all time ago. All I'm, saying, <laughs> all I'm saying, bro, is I'm just sitting here and I'm thinking to myself, why do you even care? No, don't get me wrong. I agree. I agree that fucking that the fan base, like what the fan base, the fan boys. I want, I want to clarify that they need to speak out about this shit. You know what I mean? But the fact that they're so far gone in denial about every single thing that Microsoft does, and it's okay for Microsoft to fucking to not come out with fucking first party games or delay this and delay that or cancel this and cancel that. That kind of shit. No. I'm just looking at it like this, dude. If you got to be mad about everything that Sony does, then you're fucking, you made the wrong choice. You made the wrong choice. I have spoken that about Xbox on several occasions. Sony got the, Sony is exclusively launching Spider-Man. You're mad about that. They even went as far as to say that State of Decay 2 looks better than Spider-Man. <laughs> Listen, this is when I knew one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Are, are Listen, they serious? Dude, they, they are, are very they serious. serious. Even had the nerve. Wow. Uh, this, listen to how they did it. Listen to how they did it. It gets better. It gets better. This is how they did it. They took a low-quality GIF. They took a low tr a quality GIF. I don't know why I said GIF. A low quality GIF and screenshot at the low quality GIF. And then they went to the Xbox and took a real screenshot from the Xbox. Think about this for a second. Even you know you're lying to yourself. That's why you did some dumb shit like that. Ratchet and Clank look better than that damn game. Bruh. What the fuck? I, I really have no hope for the game. Dude, Ghost of a Tale looks better than fucking anything that Microsoft's put out in the last fucking five years. The PS5. <laughs> and that's a $20 game that was developed by fucking five people. The PS5 may seriously be my last console that I purchase. It may be the final one. That might be it. It won't be. It if, won't be. If, it, if they're going in this streaming service way or whatever yeah. I, think do. I think the next one will be streaming i'm done i'm done i'm out bro like nope. I, I got enough retro shit to to where i'm okay with that i'm I'm good with that i'm never gonna stop uh, playing games bro i'm never gonna stop streaming playing streaming is always going to be there as an option but it's never going to take over gaming and in, in a general term i would never believe that it would but with what they've already been trying and what they're trying to yeah. push for now you don't know what to expect fatal you know, no, I, I I won't argue with that. I, I agree, but I'm I just don't see it happening. Man, I looked at this shit. I say, wow, OBJ to Don. First thing I thought of oh. when I loaded up State of Decay Two <clears throat> was it looked like PUBG with zombies. That shit looks terrible. Yeah. It does. That is a it real. Does. That that's that's some real shit. Could mm -hmm. you name? And for those people that are still sitting on Twitter bitching and moaning and crying and whining and twiddling their thumbs and rubbing their fucking dicks to fucking anything that Phil Spencer says. And bitching about fucking about Spider Man, period. Andrew Williams. Those people don't deserve to fucking play that game at all, fucking period, in my humble opinion. If you're too lazy to go out of your way, and yet you buy multiple fucking Xbox One X consoles, but yet you refuse to buy a PS4 to play goddamn quality shit, go fuck yourself. All right, Thanks. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, Andrew Wilkins, I can't, bro. I've already thought about it. I don't even think JTEC is as worse as, as, as those guys are. I, I just, I, I don't see it. I, I don't see it. I don't see it. I've seen people ask that question plenty of times. I think Porter Rock even asked this question at once. He's like, look, if you know somebody who acts just like these people do, screenshot it and show it to me. JTAC TV? Nobody no, no. can really No, I've been with JTAC. I've, I've been in parties with him, and he's not. Well, fuck it. I nominate OBJ then. 
<laughs> I'm fucking kidding, dude. <laughs> these 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 guys on a different level. Quality mm-hmm. games deserve. Uh, a I always gotta throw shade OBJ whenever he's in the chat. J Tech tells the truth. These niggas fabricate the truth. I did mm-hmm. what? And spin it. I I did what? What what did I do, Wanye? I don't, I don't know what I did. I've been watching him, and J Tech isn't that bad. I don't watch J Tech, but um, I don't I don't think he's nowhere near these dudes. <laughs> I do not think he tries to create a refugee camp for PlayStation guys. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't think that's his intention. So. God damn. We don't need one. We're doing well. I like the way you put that sick a refugee camp. Oh no 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 no. Why you? The, 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 the guys that JTEC ain't um, the opposition, bro. <laughs> because okay. the guys that JTEC, the, the, the guys that JTEC run with, they all play fucking games. I watched JTEC so, the other day. He destroyed these guys games. that's on the Xbox side. All they want to do is be in podcasts. They don't play games. Yeah, they, they don't so do it's anything. A totally, it's a totally different uh, gamers. Well, yeah. non gamers and gamers. As far as that goes, I, I'd like to keep everybody, I'd like to keep the chat informed. It. I believe uh, next month I will start. Uh, you know, I'll put out a video and let everybody vote, you know, give their nominations for the X-Bot, uh, X-Thought of the Year Award. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to get y'all. Okay, so back to some gaming shit, man. I want to know how everybody in here feels about Red Dead Redemption 2, man. I, I really want to know because I ain't have time to really talk to y'all on an individual basis about it. But, they want uh, buy a bit. Fatal, what are you thinking? Fatal? I think Fatal. Talk- it's a day one buy for me. Oh, okay. Uh, Ian? Trash. Damn, I got to agree with you on that. Uh, uh, game over? Day one buy for me. It's already pre-ordered. Lincoln? Uh, I'm up in the air about it. You know, maybe even a little apprehensive. Um because I'm curious if they're going to go, you know, go berserk with that shark card shit like they did in Grand Theft Auto. Um, I don't see it's how just... they could. I don't see how that will work out. I mean, what are you going to buy, like stage coaches and shit like that? I, I, don't, <laughs> right? I don't know how to, to avoid uh, it. To avoid honestly, all that. I think what I'm going to end up doing. You guys are sleeping on RDR2, man. Mark my words. You guys are fucking sleeping on that game. I, th- yeah. I think what I'm going to end up doing is uh, I'm going to end up renting the game. And wow. then if I like it, then I'll go and buy it. That's how I ended up doing with a uh, battlefield uh with battlefield one um i rented the game first i actually had to rent it twice before the game grew on me and i went and bought it i go get it did you do that with battlefield four did you play Battlefield Four? <laughs> did you do that with that no that was a uh that was a day one purchase for me because that was oh. well not because it, it was a launch title with the ps4 right uh so yeah i did pick it up but i, I was about battlefield to take it. four god damn i was about i was about to take it back to the store though um i think battlefield four is better than battlefield one but I ended up keeping it. Oh, I yeah, like no, whatever shit up about it is. I like Battlefield 1 better, but I do like the, the environment is more destructible on Battlefield 4. I do like that I, part of the game because there's no safe place you can hide in um, Battlefield 4. The third one's I, I, I don't like fucking Battlefield 1, man. They just basically just turned fucking Battlefront into his goddamn Battlefield skin. Agreed. <laughs> I don't know what y'all talking about, man. I don't know what y'all talking about. Be thankful about. for that. I don't see I don't see Star uh, Wars Battlefront in Battlefield One at all. Motherfucker, man! If you don't see no. the animations of Star Wars that, Battlefront in Battle, Battlefield One, dude, man, motherfucker, you never played Battlefront then. No, I'm talking Battlefield Four is beating all of them. Star Wars games and everything. Battlefield Yo. One, Battlefield Four is that shit. EA man. can fucking suck a fat fucking Rudy Poo fucking pimple fucking looking veiny dick. And before all that, Battlefield Three was the shit too, because everybody was on that. Battlefield 4 is much yeah, better. Yeah, BF3 was than awesome. One. I could have yeah, awesome. not as good Red as fucking Redemption. the classic stuff. I couldn't finish Red Dead Redemption. It was boring to me. I guess that's a me problem. Nah, fam. I'm with you on no. that. I'm with you on yeah, that. Yeah, I, I I felt it to be boring too. I mean, I liked it. I liked to play the multiplayer. I mean, multiplayer part of it. Yeah, the multiplayer was sick, right? Well, yeah, I like the I like the story in um Red Dead Redemption. I like that the um government, you know, or the local authorities forced forced him to um you know do what he had to do. 
but I think it was a it was a lot it was too much damn side shit in that game, you know. Um, you gotta be in, you have to be into that western kind of feel if you really want to get I, the best. I don't mind the western part, Red but there was a lot of side shit in there. I mean, there was a ton of so side was. shit in that game. There was, there was that's absolutely, one reasons, absolutely. That's that's one of the reasons why I had liked the mafia games better um, throughout the years because there's not so much side shit in there. The game focuses on the story. Okay. All right. Well, I, the way I feel about Red Dead Redemption is that it's a very boring game. I think you have to like Westerns in order to like Red Dead Redemption. So if you like some. Yeah, Clint you really have to be in that mindset to really enjoy it, man. Yeah. If you like some Clint Eastwood shit, like you're pre- you're, you're going to love it. No, I, you know I like so Westerns. Fuck you, Beavis. <laughs> you, you know what's so weird about it? People was asking me. They were like, um, they were like. Uh, Sony got the marketing rights for this game and you don't like it? I'm like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Like, what the hell? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't understand right that, dude. Marketing rights don't dictate what the, a what purchase, the fuck, yo. What the fuck does marketing rights have to do with me, dog? Like, what? That don't, di- that don't dictate a purchase for me at all. That, that shit is wild. If it's there, if it's not there, and if it's something that I like and I, I see that I want to play it, I'm gonna get it. It's about I don't, if marketing I don't, rights or not. Is, is it that people love shit be based on that particular fact? Like, is is that something that I'm I'm supposed to be privy to? Like, I, I don't know. I don't like, even know that, how to feel about that. That sounds like bragging rights from us being in the console world. How can I brag stuff, on like, it? I don't get paid from this shit. Like, crazy. Kingdom Hearts 3, I can't wait to play that shit. That's going to be my joint. Devil May Cry, my joint. Uh, Resident Evil 2, my shit. No, I... I don't know, dog. Like, it's a lot of good games coming out. Rage, Rage 2, that's going to be fucking lit. lit. I'm trying to get them shits on day one. Like Resident Evil Remake, yeah. coming out in January. Then we got Days Gone coming right after that, and then Anthem. Yeah. Oh, God. That's why I can't wait for Ghost of Tsushima, because I love Samurai. Just yeah. not even looking at this year, either. Laugh my like, I'm not getting off. Call of Duty. That's a wrap. They don't got no single yeah. player for me. Bruh, did you I'm play good. the beta? Oh, the beta, oh, it gets repetitive after a while. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, check this out, check this out, check this out, check this out, check this out. I downloaded the beta. I played the beta. It felt exactly like what I expected it to feel like. It felt like Call yeah. of Duty. The same shit. It felt like Call of Duty. The problem is I don't like the multiplayer. I never have, dog. I've never been a guy that loved playing the multiplayer. I always loved Not Call of be- Duty for the campaign. Really loved it for the campaign. I, I was on with a couple of I was on with a couple of ten year olds and they were swearing like guys in their thirties. It's terrible. <laughs> Listen, it's great if you like it, but if you like this beta, it's because you always like Call of Duty multiplayer. There's nothing different about it. The only thing is now you gotta be uh aware of your surroundings and know how to poke yourself with the needle yeah that's pretty much it's what not it enough is. content for 60 dollars for me though you know what I'm saying? When no I, it's not when i buy call of duty when i buy call well of you duty can't game, really say that yet y'all, for... y'all can't say it ain't enough content yet y'all haven't played the game well like, you don't know man the new cock of fuck we can fucking fuck off for all i give a fuck fuck if that they're gonna if, if they're gonna cut if they're gonna bring some content that's gonna be free like dlc you know, it would they be won't. justifiable but if they're trying to charge you for DLC, like, that's a little, a little bit too much just for multiplayer. I mean, when I bought Call of Duties in the past, like my last one, um, right. Call of Duty 2, the one just passed, I, I got the multiplayer. I played the multiplayer a lot, but I like to have the campaign in there as well, but I want to go back and play that campaign. I love zombies. I love zombies. zombies oh, hold on, on sorry. Remote. Let me just say this real quick. I just, I just got to say something. Uh, in the chat, the only L that I took from you, Spartan guy, was when I fucked your mom last night, dude. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. The Xbox are <sighs> tight because the the Xbox are tight because Microsoft got somebody from Camp of Dookie. Yes, yeah. S- SRN Studios, blah, 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 and they talk all that shit about God of War. Oh, Santa Monica Studios. Yeah, that was the director, right? I think the, yeah. they got the director from God of War. My thing is, if all you're going to do is make clones of PlayStation games, you're always going to be behind. If you make yeah. it, if they come out with a Horizon Zero Dawn clone, that's all it's going to be is a fucking clone. If you make a God of War clone. You thought Corey Blog? No, 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 no. Not Corey Blog. Oh. The dude was named. God damn, what was his name? Um, God damn. Gallagher? David Gallagher or some shit like that? Oh. 
Yeah, David Gallagher. Yeah, yeah, oh, David Black signed. Gallagher. Yeah. yeah he, oh, okay. Yeah, he signed with Microsoft a while ago. Yeah. So my mm-hmm. thing is, you said you hated God of War and and Sony's uh, single player games. You hated them because you said that they were walking simulators. Now you you're happy because you got a director or producer from said <laughs> studio. That's how dumb the fan base is. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just sitting here like I don't even I don't even understand how any of this shit makes sense. This is the reason why I don't understand how how you could be an Xbox fan these days. You have to be absolutely retarded to be an Xbox fan. I'm sorry. I apologize if you're an Xbox fan. Well, I really don't. There, but you have to be a moron. There's no quality. You have to be a moron. You you that's have to it, be yeah. a sheep that ex- that sits back and accepts anything. That's number one. <laughs> you gotta accept shit like Sea of Thieves and fucking State of Decay as if they are the the next Holy Grail. That's that's uh, number two, right? Dude, dude, hell no! What the fuck? No, 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 no fatal. That's a prerequisite. Nope. That's a prerequisite. Fatal. That's a prerequisite. Who said that? Who the fuck said that? You have to love everything that Microsoft does, even when they do nothing. Even when they do nothing, you gotta love everything they do. You gotta hate oh, everything God. that comes from every other platform. Yeah, that's that's a prerequisite to be an Xbox fan. I can explain Xbox fans. Yeah. Well, that's not how I look at it. Being an Xbox fan, you're a gamer. Fatal. Yeah, it's a platform for you if you're cheap. Skin. You're different, Fatal. You're you're a gamer. Thanks, 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 Ian. I appreciate that. That 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 kind of hurts a little bit, dude. <laughs> Stockholm syndrome is a condition that causes hostages to develop a psychological alliance with their captors as a survival strategy during captivity. These feelings resulting from a bond torn between captor and captor. That's why it was called Xbox S. Really? It's Xbox Stockholm. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you're saying they all have a disease called Stockholm syndrome? Yes. Damn, son. That's Wait a minute, hold on, Spartan. That's, that's what do you mean I was sitting damn. there dick riding fucking anything Microsoft did last night when I sat there and even criticized him in the same breath, you fucking goddamn daddy ripping bitch? That's crazy. Sony will let Corey Barlog to make a new IP. Hey, listen, I don't know what Sony's going to do. I don't know what Sony. What game did I play on easy? Goddamn. Uh oh. Fatal, the gamer that. No, no, I'm just I'm generally curious because he brought up Uncharted earlier, but I guess he failed to understand. That when you beat a game, fucking no matter what difficulty you play it on, any previous difficulty beyond that automatically gets unlocked automatically. See, you would know that there, fucking Mr. Pyro, if you actually paid the fuck attention. What? You, like, on, your uh, trolling is fucking god awful. What, you mean on, um, um, on God of War? The complete God of War in high mode. When I, when, I, when I went through, no, I beat Uncharted on normal mode, and I got fucking all the other difficulties beyond, uh, below that fucking, or whatever you want to call it there, fucking automatically unlocked after you played whatever you want to call it. There is no difficulty in No Man's Sky. You would know if you actually played it, Spartan Slob. But at the end of the day, regardless of that, fucking, <laughs> when I went through, <laughs> when I went through The Last of Us, I beat that game on hard. And fucking, whatever you want to call it, and all the other achievements for difficulty-wise already previously unlocked uh, fucking when I beat it. So, again. <laughs> Blue Horizon said, <laughs> wait, Fatal, I thought you were fucking Spartan's mom last night. No, oh, no, nah, dude, no, nah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm more prettier to be fucking. Yeah, no. You don't have the rest, fatal. It I'm more, I'm more better good. looking than Spartan's mom is, man. Wow. <laughs> I'm just fucking clapping, dude. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm just fucking right. Even non Xbox fans like a King Grimpachi defends Xbox and say they get media bias against them. Don't know why many people sign up to Xbox defenders. I don't know. I haven't seen Grimpachi in a minute though. Damn, he just said that name. Is he he's still on YouTube? Go go look at my trophies for Uncharted. You'll see that it's right there. Moderate, fucking light, and whatever you want to call it, we're unlocked. Moderate being normal. Still if you don't, if you don't know if you don't know the definition of what moderate is, dude, man, it's not my problem. You're fucking illiterate as fuck. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Fatal not taking no smoke today. No, he's not. I'm curious no. what that San Diego new studio is making. I don't know. I woke up grumpy today, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen Grimpachi in a while either, man. Shout out to Grimpachi. To think a cowboy game that the majority doesn't care about to an iconic superhero. I don't even treat you, Spartan. I already do that on a regular basis anyways. And you will be embarrassed to even think otherwise. Um, To be honest with you, I'm not pitting Spider-Man against Red Dead Redemption. Um, 
I think both games are going to do phenomenally. Um, the thing is, if you're an Xbox fan, you just don't have the ability to play it. So you have to play whatever you have the ability to play. So, you know, they'll be playing Tomb Raider and then they'll be playing Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, we will be playing uh, help. We will be playing Spider-Man, we will be playing Tomb Raider, we will be playing Red Dead Redemption, and they will be still complaining about Spider-Man. Oh, in my case, don't forget to add Firewall in there because that's Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting that so shit day one, too. Yo, don't forget. Yeah. Don't forget yeah, about fucking Tropical 6 for me in October. Sick, Fatal, and Orphan Storm lost Ew. so bad yesterday. Oh, shit. What happened? What happened? How, how did Fatal lose? What did Fatal lose? Okay, so let me... Okay, so he was sitting there trying to... Like, Spartan Gods... This is how the now this fucking come just staying is fucking he was sitting there fucking trying to actually fucking debate me in the debate yesterday right when i countered fucking every single thing that he said to me yeah said to me so then ever since when i did that he's still in fucking denial about it he debate. lost there was no debate there because everything that everything that he argued about fucking could easily be countered <clears throat> because see, he hasn't come across somebody that he's actually debated that is fucking Knows their shit like I do. Wait, 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 wait. So, so did y'all did y'all verbally it. debate? Yeah, yeah, no, no, not verbally wise. No, he's too scared to come on my fucking show to verbally debate me. So y'all y'all debated via text. Yeah, I'm untouchable. Fatal, you adopted that schmuck Halo Storm. <laughs> <laughs> That's his boyfriend. <laughs> oh shit! God damn. Oh, hey, fuck you, Ian. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Yo, I'm getting firewall day one too, Andrew. Man, I can't play. I can't wait to play that joint. Facts. When do? When is it dropping? Um, Isn't that that VR game that's coming out? It, looks like a cheap ass version it, of fucking. It, it drops. It drops August twenty eighth. August twenty. Oh, 20... oh garbage, shit! So man. the end of this month then. Yes. God. It like in, in um uh, in a little over two weeks. Oh, Tuesday. Man. It'll be. Three, okay. It'll be. Two but weeks. The, I mean, to be fair, the best game. The best game drops at the end of this month. That being Divinity Original Sin two. That game is gonna be shit this month. Man. Hey, the, that's fuck uh, everything that, else. That's me. See, if Firewall turns out to be everything I hope it is, you might end up buying a uh, VR more a lot sooner than later. Uh man, to be honest with you, if you ain't got VR by now, man, you ain't you ain't never had no intentions to play it. That shit was as cheap as two hundred dollars, man. Right. <clears throat> to be honest with you, man, y'all missing out, bro. Y'all missing. I'm buying e another one I so I can get the HDR pass through. I can't even tell you why you guys are missing out but you're missing out on a lot man that that shit is so fun man so we've got to go down in price over here and where i live in canada and once that happens I'm nah see i know so i know really why experience that, I, I know why you're 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 just uh canada man <laughs> man I, I was thinking about moving. Up, bitch. I, I was thinking about moving to canada one day and don't make fun of my heritage and then i and then i thought about it i was like fuck no <laughs> Fatalist from Canada. I trust you'd be a lot more happier over here. And everything sucks. Like y'all gotta pay extra for everything. Certain shit y'all don't have access to. Listen, while America is not perfect, goddamn it, by any means Far necessary, I don't know if I would want to live anywhere else, man. I don't know if I would want to live anywhere else, bro. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Trust with me, you, I'd rather be living in Canada than, than going anywhere near fucking the goddamn states. Hey, listen, I hear you, bro. I hear you, bro. But living in the Just States... Just don't go to Florida. Hey, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Chicago. Whoa. Hold on, hold on. Oh, a dog. Hold on, hold on. What's wrong with Florida? It's full of weirdos. Man, get off Florida, man. Shout out to Florida. See, Stand Danny up. knows what's up, man. You're right. Canada is the promised land. The United States is like fucking prison. Just go to Alaska. Fuck no. I'm getting another PSVR as well. I, I, yo, oh, hold on, 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 my boy Burner, for all of y'all out there who have 4K TVs, right, for all of y'all out there who got 4K TVs and Xboxes and Playstations or whatever the hell you playing on, if it's a 4K device, my boy Blue Burner, he put me on to this device, the device actually splits your signal and sends it, like, you'll, you'll still have 4K on your TV, but it'll send the 1080p signal to your Elgato and you'll still be able to capture footage while enjoying your games and stuff and full 4K with HDR and shit like that. Nice. So that's for all of the people who stream and shit like that. There is a device out there. It costs 50 bucks. It's what the fuck is it? go 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 funkin? I don't know. I have it out. If y'all want to see it, I'll, I'll post the link to it. 
but it is a really really good device um it is but it takes the 4k signal and then it down samples it within the box to 1080p so that you can use it with your elgato hey sick mind if i do a little self-promotion go right ahead cali rex do your thing bro you know i fucks with you cali rex for sure for sure hey cali rex gonna be the next youtuber up bro y'all 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 ever check out cali rex see i be checking out y'all motherfucking channels i don't believe y'all niggas be y'all don't think y'all be going and checking out these channels y'all be y'all be subbing to bro because y'all be missing some content Y'all be missing some some content. But shout out to Cali Rex, man. Shout out to my boy Blue Burner. He's still trying to do his thing with the um with his YouTube channel. Um if you were yeah, if, um, go ahead. I'm gonna uh once I live here full time, I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. Facts. Yo, y'all should definitely do it. Um yeah. but I damn, I do wanna give y'all this um this thing, man. I wanna show y'all this device because the device is crazy. Let me go to Blue Burner channel. I don't know why I'm promoting this old x bot ass nigga, man. Yeah, because he's just so Yo. up there. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Juan, I'll give you credit for that. That was fucking funny, dude. <laughs> That's my dog, though. That's my motherfucking yeah. dog. Um, So shout out to Burner, but let me see if I can find his channel. Oh, there it is. Burner Blast Cast. All right. Videos. Be right back. And where is it? Okay, here it is right here. I found this splitter that splits 4K HDR and a 1080p signal to your Elgato. Here we are. Let's go. Watch, 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 watch. watch this. See my monster. See my monster. See my monster burner. Burner. Blast. Blast. See my monster burner. So yeah, I'm a blast. Hey guys, this is the real deal 4K 60 Hz HDR splitter. This thing does what you need it to do if you have an Xbox One X or your PlayStation 4 Pro. Now this what it does, it splits your 4K signal and your 1080p signal so you can stream with your Elgato or use it with another 1080p source. And let me tell you guys, this works. I finally gotten it, got it to work with my Xbox One X. I just had to mess around with the settings a little bit. Very simple settings to, go, uh, to adjust and we're gonna get to that right away. But here it is, it's connected. This is how I have mine. Remember now, my settings are all set to default. Everything is set to default. This is the 4K TV with HDR enabled. Now it's just playing with everything on. Now I'm gonna go back to my menu. And when I go back to the menu or the settings, what happens is the HDR is shut off. As you can see, it... All right, so uh shout out to my boy burner man i'm gonna give him the little i'm gonna give him the little shout out man y'all go fuck with my dog um he is an x bot by the way you know what i'm saying but he he's he's he, he's in rehabilitation right now he's he's trying to get over his his affliction um mm. but shout out to burner man that's his channel that's the uh device if you guys wanted to take a look at it it's called the the go funko prophecy intelligent 4k 60 hertz hdr one by this ain't the right one. Oh, here it is the two port splitter it's only 55.99 or you can get the four port for 69.90 so why in the fuck would anybody get the two port when you could just get the four port i mean the four port is only like 14 dollars more anyway you can get this and it does work with tvs that are 444 uh, i forgot what that shit stands for uh but it's something that helps the 4k 60 hertz whatever with the colors and all of that shit but it literally takes the signal it, it lets you output at 4k but then it breaks the signal down to uh, 1080p so if you guys are interested this is the item uh hit my boy amazon link up so he can get some of that affiliate money some of that affiliate money because see me man i always be putting everybody out there man i always be sending motherfuckers give, giving motherfuckers that work man shout out to y'all dog shout out to all y'all shout out to the round table shout out to rgt uh podcast shout out to uh king thrash vidiot diver um big money um shout out to uh carlos fernandez shout out to ryan the professional shout out to porter rock Shout out to that nigga next gen, man. I ain't gonna even lie. I fucked around and started watching some of those uh uh be uh, the broadband bully uh videos and shit. 
that shit be pretty funny to hear them niggas sounding crazy as hell, boy, especially D, boy. D, that nigga, he's the smartest dumb nigga I've ever seen in my life. I ain't gonna even lie to you. I ain't got no problems with him, but he the smartest dumb nigga ever. He, the reason why I say that, right? He says some shit that make you believe what he's saying, but then he sounds really dumb in the process. Everything he predicts is absolutely wrong. But shout out to that nigga anyway. Um, <clears throat> not Diver, not like this. Hey, I fuck with Diver, man. Sick is kind enough to look at my Twitter, which I appreciate. I always appreciate everybody's shit, man. Uh, Porter Rock is live. Did he, did he go live? Damn. Usually, I nah, I turned the notifications off because that shit used to pop up when everybody go live, and that shit used to just be terrible. Yeah, uh, I just uh, I just spoke to him on Twitter. So once he gets done with that live stream, that's when we gonna get our MLB the show game in. Oh, y'all finna get it in? Y'all finna yeah. get it in? <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't even so, realize we was live for three hours, man. Yeah, so keep your eyes peeled, everybody. Uh, you know, look probably in a in an hour, maybe less. It's gonna be Lincoln Clay versus Puerto Rico MLB the show. Y'all check it out. Facts. Yeah, anyway, he's playing uh, modern. So uh, if y'all got anything else to talk about, we can talk about it or we can get the fuck out of here and let these good folks get on over to Porter Rock channel to check his content out. What is up? What is up? What is up? Y'all got anything else? Uh, just sorry I missed the start. Nah, nah, nah. It's all good, man. It's all good. You got to sleep, bro. You got to sleep. Yeah. Or you could be like me and not sleep and then just. Be like, <laughs> I said up. it before, man. I like sick must be part back because I don't even know when the, if this dude even sleep. I am for Dracula. sure. Yeah, All right, peace time. out, Jemaya. Uh Fernando Baron. Uh not me. I'm about to go and go straight to that motherfucking rich. Well, I'm about to take a piss yeah, first. Yeah. I'm about to take a piss. <laughs> I'm gonna grab me something to eat. Tonight. Oh, you do gotta work on. Huh? I'm about to take yeah, a piss, yeah. get me something to eat, then I'm about to go in there and holla at that witcher. For sure. Uh but anyway, uh what about you, Lincoln? You got anything else you wanna talk about? Are you you good? Uh, I'm good. All right, cool, cool, cool. What about you, uh, Fatal? I think he's gone. What about you, Game Over? Nah, I'm good. All right, man, this was a good goddamn podcast. I spent the first, what, about 15, 20 minutes ranting? Damn. That's the part yeah, I wanted bro. to catch. I spent, like, the first 15 minutes ranting, bro. Either way, it is, uh, it's all good. Anyway, y'all boys and gals. Thank y'all for coming through. Please hit that like button on your way out, man. Please go ahead and support the channel. Um, and I do want to appreciate, I want to I wanna send a special thanks out to everybody. No matter what you did, if you came through and you donated via Super Chat or if you just came through and participated in the chat period, I definitely do appreciate it. And I do appreciate y'all, you know, uh, coming through and, and being so so humble like you guys are you guys are just awesome man um but shout out to everybody man and uh either way let me let me not make this into a super long outro y'all be easy we getting the hell up out of here deuces peace, peace. peace. peace.